Greetings, chat. How's it going? Greetings, Eli. This poll is free money. You can't lie on the internet. What? Predict. Streamers can't cast a prediction on their own channel. That's, that's, that's bull, right? That's bull. Is Charlie Chan back? I can confirm that Charlie Chan is back and voting yes in this poll is literally free coins. The streamer is telling you to go all in. Go all in. If you have any coins, go all in. You cannot lose. It's free money. After you're done, also buy some Bitcoin. As much cryptocurrency as you possibly can. Dogecoin has no ceiling. Also, I have many stocks of GME that you can buy and I'm losing money. You're basically stealing from me. Anyway, Fan on the Screen is by Merrick and it's fantastic. T taking a throwaway moment from the uh from the stream and turning it into this. When a random NPC told me to reload, I didn't even think of this joke. This that, that would that would have been fantastic. Do you know how often chat says something or a fan artist says something and I'm like shit, I should have said that. <laughs> that would have been really great. <laughs> you know, I think I'm finally over her. Reload, Dr. Freeman. I tried, damn it. <laughs> and the Alex What was that yesterday? <laughs> Turn around and look at her and she's just a creepy fucking grin. Do 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 gay van. Anyone else say gay van like it's the end of a of a prayer? Like amen. Gay van. Was there a 4chan meme that did that? I can't remember. Admiring your venting skills. What is on my foot? What is on my foot? A cable, okay. Do do do. Joe, are you gonna s do a stream of Wo Long next week? What's Wo Long? I don't know what that is. I was thinking the next week that we could stream up here. What do you guys think about that? Maybe we could do that. Up your butt! Ho 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 ho! Ho ho! Up your butt! Ho ho ho! Got him! Got him! Ho ho! I did. <laughs> I legit got someone on Jads with that the other day. <laughs> big, big Tom Cardi energy. It's very fitting. It's very fitting. I legitimately had a dream the other night where I said Lamayo got him and everyone laughed. I've been poisoned. Lamayo got him is a classic. What's wrong with Lamayo got him? Anyway, thank you, thank you for the the fan art, Merrick. And um, that's all the fan art we have today, because that's all that was in the folder. And I'm behind schedule, so I'm I'm a, I'm a little rushing. So I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, we ordered lunch today and it got here late, so that's my excuse. Technically, I have a receipt if you really need to see it, but yeah.
what was lunch? It was meant to be Burger King, but as we placed the order, um, Burger King closed. Just said, fuck you, you don't get it. So we had to get McDonald's. And let me tell you, it was really gross. It was really, really gross. And uh, I'm currently trying to trying to limit myself to one full meal a day. Like, I'll have a snack later. Um, I'm trying to lose weight. So I, I limit myself to one full meal a day. So the fact that this is my only meal today really sucks because it was really gross. Fast food. Well, it's my only fast food for the week. Calories a calorie, man. Well, that's not true, actually. But in, in for all intents and purposes, for basic conversation, a calorie is a calorie. Do you exercise? I go through phases with exercise. Um, sometimes I exercise a lot, and I do, and I and I will go for like two hours of cardio every single day. Um, and I'm not talking about like going for a walk. I'm talking about like being on a machine. Um, I really liked when we had a treadmill, but it, but it, we didn't bring it with us because um, we couldn't bring it to Moncton. I really like the treadmill. Uh, I really like the exercise bike. Really like the rowing machine. Um, I like going for walks more than anything. Uh, but currently, I'm not in an exercise phase now. I'm trying to build up the um, the what you call it the uh, the willpower to get back into it. Do you find exercise helps with your sleep? Nope, nothing helps with my sleep. A lot of people have suggested that to me. A lot of family members suggested that to me, and a lot of people don't understand how it can't. And I and I get it because usually it does, but um, it doesn't it doesn't help with me. Now that said, I've never been f I've never been stupidly buff. So if I got like like shredded, right, like, and I was really pushing myself, maybe it would help if I got like really 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 tired, like full full body muscular exercise right instead of just having cardio um maybe i don't know but usually it doesn't help beat saber was exercise for a while too all right let's go in episode one just watch your witcher one video what and stay awake all night enthralled with what's on the screen Why watch the Witcher 1 video when I can watch the Witcher 3 video? I'm the only one who can watch it. Therefore, I rip Uh-oh. That was loud. One of our designated safe zones, I feel obliged to point out that a more fortunate side effect of the reactor's destruction is the complete removal of the Combine's reproductive suppression field. Previously, certain protein chains important to the process of embryonic development were selectively prevented from forming. This is no longer the case. For those so inclined, now would be an excellent time for procreation. What? Which is to say... In layman's terms, no one wants to you now. Give serious consideration to doing your part for the revival of the species. We must make the most of the time we have, as it is by no means certain how much time we have secured ourselves before the Combine attempt to restore their dominion, as they certainly shall. Since this is, in fact, I'm doing the my part. opportunity we have had to speak openly of the baleful influence of the Combine, there is much ground to cover. And in fact, I hope to institute a series of useful bulletins in the days ahead. However, for now, we will have to content ourselves with some relatively meager exposition. The destabilization of the City-17 reactor has had repercussions that were not entirely unexpected. Is this different than the one in the game? We hardly dared speak this hope ahead of time. The destructive pulse forced a damper on the entire network of linked Citadel reactors. Thus, for the time being, I believe that all Combine portals have failed completely, as well as all okay. communications systems based on that technology.
trolley. Of course there's no trolley. What the fuck did you think? How could I have made it more obvious that there wasn't a trolley? Turn off and on rapidly. I feel like I had something to say. Maybe I was reading some comment or something. I feel like I had something to say. Oh well. Uh, thank you, uh, Fifu, for the new sub. Thank you, Mark Espresso, for the resub. Zorgrox for the bits. Original name 0003 for the resub. Zip Zap the Electric Newt for the resub. Interest name, Man of Answers for the resub, and The Milkman for the new sub. Oh, one just came in hot off the presses, Nanauka with a resub. Thank you. There's a marble. Who who has cashed in a marble? Who dareth? Marble. Spanduli redeemed by a marble for the race. Spanduli? Step forward, state your anime, and be judged. One animated Guilty Gear story mode marble, please. Is that, a, is that a thing? Or is that I have to play the game? You can watch it on YouTube, okay. I will, I will redeem it after stream. I'm, I, hopefully someone will update it on the jazz list. Okay, gun, guns don't do any damage. Guns do no damage. It's the bullets that do damage. Guns don't do any damage. I need a brick. It's, oh, radiator radio will work. Radiate radiator will work. I wish I was better at pronouncing my T's. Pretty good at it, like at like blocking bullets, and then you just go boom. Oh, not that good. Oh. Do you find it difficult to record spoken lines for your videos? Do you have any tips on making it easier? Uh, yes, it's inc incredibly difficult for me. And no, I don't have any tips. No. Um, I have I have a tip to make it to make you feel better by telling you that I have a lot of trouble with it too. And also, every single other YouTuber I've ever spoken to has said they also have trouble with it. I'm I'm sure that um that uh I probably have more trouble than them because I suck. But uh yeah, it's, it's not. I've never spoken to anyone. They say they find it easy. I've, I've spoken to people that said they, they, they enjoy it, which is in, insane to me because I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy that part at all. Um, but I've never spoken to anyone who says they find it easy to do it.
I think it was I think it was Nova Canoe that told me that he really liked uh, recording, or or was it uh, was it was it Chris Davis? I can't remember. I've never asked Tish Bomber Guy or Mandalore if they like recording or not. Not that I talk to them all the time or anything, you know, just like I have spoken to them a couple times. Are we done? You know, Hitchranga. I I know him to the extent that I've had I don't know five or six DM conversations with him about just bullshit. Yeah. So if that counts as knowing someone, then yeah, I know I know him. I'm not really good at connecting with other other YouTubers because I'm really bad at anything to do with that. <laughs> Some insecurities, but also um, just time. What are you still doing here? Everyone should clear out of the city. The combine's not making it. We're trying to get enough people together to force our way through to the train station. People are meeting up in a safe house nearby. Can you take us there? You bet. Let's go. This way. Is Radiator the new chance that we're doing? Nope. Radiator is just a really good weapon. For for this challenge. This room looks like a... Is this from Half-Life, the base game? And they were like... Well, uh, looks familiar. That's the password. Previously, certain protein chains important to the process of embryonic development. Uh, right? uh, no. My dad's Odessa Cubbage. You're right. We don't have time to watch TV. Cubbage? Cubbage is your dad? All right, who wants some of these protein chains the Kleiner was talking about? Let's go, let's go, you game, let's go. For beer, girl, that's what we're gonna name our kid. For the cause, that's the name of my sex tape, yep. Alternative title is Just Cause. Got him. I remember this room for some, for some reason. I think I died here a lot my first time through. Yeah, I'm doing the one bullet challenge and I've already fired my one bullet. Very surprised that it hasn't given me a crowbar.
Do, 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 do. So I'm being quiet today. Apologies. Although sometimes I, I watch the stream back thinking I was quiet, and I wasn't. Gordon, so I am being quiet right now, though. How the hell did you get out of the Citadel? I'm, I'm really not mad. I'm mad about the shitty McDonald's, but, you know. Hey, Barney. Crazy trying to... Gordon, were you followed again? We stole some information from the Citadel on our way out. I don't know what it is yet, but it's important enough that they've been hounding us the whole way here. Well, that puts the pressure on. Look, we gotta get moving. You guys know about the evacuation trains, right? Yeah. yeah well, we've been planning to make a push on the train station. Now it looks like we're gonna have to cut a path through every chicken shit metro cop who's having second thoughts about defending City 17. If Gordon and I took a separate route, we could draw the combine away from you. Yeah. You a chance to get the trains filled up before we get there. Really? Well, if you say so. Yeah, it's crazy enough to work. Over here. Or if we have my trolley, everyone could just bounce off of it right out of the city. But no, I had to go through a vent because you didn't want to hack the door. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. Let's go. Hey, Gordon, before you go. Getting tired of carrying this around. Listen, I don't have many more of these, so try not to lose this one, okay? Go on across, Gordon. She's waiting for you. You lucky dog, you. Oh, oh, oh my God! Do you think we're together? Wait, trolley chains there? All right, can I get around the crowbar? Uh, oh no! <laughs> can I gravity gun the crowbar? I can. What is it, boy? What's the matter? Do you like the gravity guns and half a phallus? Yes, they were awesome. They were really, really fun. I like that it, it's something that makes um, doing stuff in VR easier, and also it kind of kind of fits the um, the setting. Um, but it also it's it's like a fun thing that you can learn how to do. So it's like it's, it's it works on multiple levels. It's really cool. Maybe they don't hold up as, as the game goes on. Maybe it gets kind of, kind of like whatever. But yeah. Oh man, pew pew. Get it? Is VR worth the price in your opinion? The index definitely isn't. Now that's not to say that the index isn't like good, um, 
like well produced or anything like like it is it's, it's not like it's a rip off it's just for the experience that you're getting i feel like well i don't know what's how much how much does the index cost right now i don't think there's enough games and stuff for, for it for it however like there's also being an early ish adopter on technology i don't know it's sorry it's been a while since i bought the index so i don't know how much this should cost now it might be fine Still a thousand dollars, but this is in 2023 money now. And I find it hard to judge what what things are worth because it's always going to come back. It's always going to come down to also how much money you have, right? Like. $1,000 to me is a lot of money, but if you're a millionaire, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's whatever, like, I know that sounds stupid, but you don't have to be a millionaire to get to the point where $1,000 on, on a hobby kind of thing might be commonplace for you, right? Joe rediscovers the concept of margin utility. Bold of you to think I knew it before. Am I allowed to use? I'm allowed to use the rocket launcher, right, chat? I, I, I must be allowed to. Where is he? What? Probably would have been here. Just fling right up. Thread the needle. Oh, we threaded the needle. Needle threaded. Design of these things, they look, they look alive. Oh, I mean, oh, that was... Jesus, Gordon, you're a real terror. Hit one with a crowbar once. Should have seen that. Maybe you should whack it with a crowbar just in case. I don't have one. Already done it. Already done it. Is it alive? Where's my radiator?
Sorry, is it a is it a living thing? Does it always land in the room like this? That's kind of cool. Definitely some mix. Smaller than a fifty ninety. <laughs> My prediction for the future is that um, we'll, we're going to start slotting motherboards into the GPU instead of slotting GPUs into the motherboard. That's my prediction. I give it. I give it ten years. Where did my radiator go? Seriously, I like that weapon. I can't find it anywhere. I guess it's gone. Was in the radiator on the stairs over here or back on the stairs back over here? Oh, I didn't bring it in. Oh, okay, thank you, Chatter. was that oh it was a um it was the music i thought that was like something powering up its laser or something the music choices are so weird in, in these games like when the music plays what it's gonna be it's not bad music it's just so out of nowhere modded or not. Uh, the only mod is on the screen right now. If you look closely, you can see it. But that's the only mod. It's a visual mod. Uh, this is also um, not Alex. It's Crystal from Star Fox 64. Did you just hit me with a shotgun? Or did the door blast open and hit me? Real talk chat, I think Star Fox 64 is one of the worst games I've ever played. And when people ask me what's the worst game you've ever played, I, for, I, I it's so bad I forgot about it. And I should say that instead. That game sucked ass. It was so bad. What's the hell in they Britain and whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go resetting the DKP, all right? Like, like, no, like, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. Pub sub level take. What do you mean pub sub level take? That game sucked. What 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 is going on right now? Oh, the ball is hitting me. Okay. Give him the chair. 
No! Shh! Oh, Neighbor is an amazing stream game. I doubt Star Fox 64 could compare. Oh no, it'd be boring the whole time. Like it's 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 so bad that it's not even good. Like Hello Neighbor, you can enjoy as a trash fire. Like how did this game even exist? Star Fox 64 is just just bad. It's so boring. Whoa. I see why Charlie Chandler- You like Star Fox 64? What? Okay, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will give you a pass about liking Star Fox 64. Because I understand that most of the chat is younger than me. Maybe when that game came out, it like you were a kid and that was one of the first games you played and it was like, oh, I really like the game. I got to be Star Fox and there's dinosaurs and whatever. Like, or was it was it even called Star Fox 64? It was on fucking. Oh, I'm I, I've been saying the wrong, the wrong game the whole time. <laughs> I've been saying the wrong game the whole time. <laughs> I meant the game the GameCube one, Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> Star Fox 64 is great. I love that game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Star Fox 64 is great. Like in Britain, it was called Lilat Wars. So that that's that's why I get confused. I just I just went to Star Fox Adventures and I thought, oh, that's Star Fox 64. That was on the GameCube, wasn't it? Sorry. Star, Star Fox Adventures, where where it's like a Zelda game and you're on foot for most of it, um, that that game fucking sucked. That's one of the worst games. Star Fox 64, or AKA A Lilat Wars in the UK, that game's amazing. That's that's one of my favorite games actually. That game's fucking great. I played that to death. Like um the like I even like the the tank level. Like the tank level's even good. Or tank levels. The train one's the best one. Like yeah, Star Fox Adventures is really 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 bad. Sorry, my bad there. I was never really big into Star Fox. Neither is Nintendo, so you guys are getting along well. well. Did you try the other GameCube Star Fox game, Assault, I think? No, I didn't. I heard it was really bad. I heard Assault was good. Maybe parts of it are good. I think the, um, what's the level in Star Fox 64? I think it's the, the hard version of the penultimate level before you get to the, the last plan to fight Andros, um, where you're like assaulting like the main army, like the fleet of, uh, outside of the, in orbit of the planet or whatever. Um, I think that is one of the, the best paced and like, holy shit, let's fucking go levels in all of gaming. 
Like there is such a like when when the when the guy is like the enemy commander is like we're throwing everything we got at him. They keep breaking through. Like like it's just it's so fucking hype when you're just like blasting through that. It's so good. That level's great. Area six. That's it. I think it's area six. Yeah. Now now of course I forgot what the name of the game was called, so don't take my word for it. All right. But yeah, I I really really enjoyed that game. I can't believe I got mixed up with Star Fox Adventures. Oh no! Let's save it. Oh, there's a there's a, there's a spider in there. Thank God we have infinite antitoxin antidote. Yeah. I'm happy to boot that, yep. Is it physics puzzle time? Died. Did they write themselves in a corner with the episodes? I don't I don't think so. Uh oh. Well, we're dead. We're dead. Okay, I think grenades are fine, right? How is it even going to work getting to the other side after that? Can we make a jump from here? Oh, we jump over to here. Can we get up there? ceiling okay if I lodge it in there real good no it's gonna be tricky Kojima's really got us got us this time all right I think I want to throw a grenade at the um, at the barnacles on the other side so I jump here and I just jump over there, or do I jump straight? Shit. Oh, you can make it. Okay, cool. 
Oh, but how we get over there? Oh, I guess we do go to the other side. We don't. We don't go. We don't go straight. That's where we got the uh, the thing. It's not where the the end is. All right, so we jump, and then we go over there. Oh, you guys aren't here until we turn electricity on for some fucking reason. Oh, okay. All right. Fuck me specifically, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, that's how we get up. Just checked, SMG grenades are fine, are they? Okay. If I really desperately need to use one, I'll use one. Sorry about leaving you alone down there, Gordon. I got a bit swamped. I see you did all right without me. Wish you weren't so awkward, but... <sighs> Thank you, Curly Wright, for the resub. Thank you... Osmanthus Winnie for the resub as well. Conscious Falls, cool name. Daikon, Smorga Borg, <laughs> and uh, Zephyriox for the resubs. Thank you very much. All right, where are we going? Any plans to stream Space Station Silicon Valley at some point? Nope, no plans. Wasn't that game bugged and you couldn't couldn't fully finish it? Like there was like a, a secret system that wasn't um, fully realized. So there were just hints of this of these uh, secrets you could find. I think Banjo Kazoo was like that too, wasn't it? It was really annoying. Couldn't 100% of it, you could beat it normally. There was this weird, like, um, like, city defense portion at the end where you're a robot. It was very odd. It was hard, too, if I remember correctly, in Space Station Silicon Valley. Whereas Banjo Kazooie, you could get, like, a full full experience with, any, with an ending and everything. And there was a bunch of secrets. But then there was, like, these the, this further tier of secrets of, like, stuff hidden behind frozen walls or whatever. Do you know a game I've never played? I think this may surprise people considering how much I like Banjo Kazooie and I like the N64 era. I have never played Banjo Tooie. Which I, I'm surprised at considering how much I love Banjo Kazooie, but I've never played Banjo Tooie. We never got it. It's okay, not as good. Is it really? I heard that it's it's like better in every way than, than Kazooie. Is Kazooie better? Stream it? Maybe. Oh, excuse me, did you ever dabble in the skate series? I did not know. The only, the closest I ever got to that was some of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, which were really good. Really fun. Arcadey kind of games. You've played Nuts and Bolts, right? Nope. Why would I do that to myself?
Wait, what? Oh, they're behind something. God damn it. Rating aggregate sites have Banjo 2 is slightly lower. Do they? Real? Um, oh, that was a bad quick save. Bad quick save. Close the door. Alex, help me. Alex, why aren't the gun turrets shooting you? I rounded the corner here, love, thinking that, that I was safe, and it turns out that they just don't see you. That's great. Or are you behind a wall? You know what other games suck from that era? The the nuts and bolts era? Viva Pinata. That game sucked. Way too limited. That game was uh, No, it wasn't. The the play area was it was tiny. And you could barely have any pinatas. It was like a demo of a game. It was like a concept instead of a game itself. You couldn't make a garden. You had a, a little tiny little square patch of of bullshit to grow on it grew i know i played it for a while i expanded the area and it's still tiny at any rate yes, the train station first as a matter of great urgency awesome okay where are these tarts i keep hearing so much about did we get them did we knock them over were they up there? Did I misunderstand the turrets? Did I play the sequel Trouble in Paradise? No. Why would I play it at the, the sequel after that bullshit? At any rate, the train station. First, as a matter of great urgency, if you find yourself still within the confines of City 17. You oh, it's it's connected to the power. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're on to us. Better find Barney and get moving. Oh, you're not a turret. I wanted to hear what Kleiner said. Thanks. What the fuck is a pub sub? Pub sub is, is someone on Jads that often has bad takes. According to Jads. I wondered if you were gonna make it in time. Sorry to keep you waiting. The combine's on our tail. What's the plan? I'm sending folks out in groups. And like I said before, if you can keep them safe and provide cover, we might actually stand a chance of reaching the escape trains. Sounds good. Send out the first group. Here we go. I don't care about these people. How many people were we left to die, Alex? When we went through the door, you just let them get vaporized? Like, who cares? Hey, how's it going? Okay, can we at least agree that Viva Pinata whether or not it's it's a bad game, it could have been a way, 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 way better game. Can we at least agree on that? Like, every game can be better, but like, I don't think Half-Life 2 could be way, 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 way better. Whereas even Viva Pinata could be way, 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 way better. It's like the play area is too small. You can't have as many pinatas. And also you don't get the you don't get to beat them to death yourself. What's the point? Where are we going? Oh no. Doing good. Well, that wasn't so hard. We yeah, just just yeah, why didn't we? can't make a car in the first two banjo games. This is just not a car series. That's why. That's not a, that's not a negative. That's, that's a pro. That's a positive.
I really loved Mario's big lasagna for the fucking Switch 2. All the other Mario games before that suck because in those games you can't make lasagna. It's not a fucking cooking game. Keep them safe. Uh oh. Let's go, let's just keep going. No shit, let's not keep going. Andrew Kazoo becoming a card game for younger me so upset. I didn't even play because of that. Keep them safe. Alright, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Okay, let's load it. Alright, let's just keep going. Let's just go. Let's just go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, who cares? Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. All right, I got here. That means everyone else can get here now too. All right, done. Pathfinding. Yep. Anyone else live? All right, this is going so well. What soldier? Well, I got back here, Barney. What are you, what are you doing here? Standing guard or fucking nothing? D just get some fucking ghosts get in here? Ghosts of trolleys? What are you doing? Oh, I've been hanging out with Cubbage, huh? Alright, whatever. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. What the hell? Why is it resetting? Let's go. Oh no. Man, I have I have no memory of this sequence whatsoever. important thing is I got him the important thing is take this med kit Let's shoot and do an achievement. Can you shoot? Alright, thank you. Alright, that I'm allowed to shoot. Okay, you guys can jump down, right? Yeah? Okay, you'll figure it out. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're helping so much. Oh, we we're gonna go. We need hurry up, go help. Oh, oh look, oh look, I'm Alex. I'm gonna shoot you right away when there's a. I hate Alex so much. Might as well use the infant RPGs, right?
Just realized this is still episode one, sorry for the while. We're very close to the end though. Back on your bullshit, huh? I know about episode two? Very little. I know there's a gnome. Did you get a Steam Deck? If so, how is it? I do have a Steam Deck. Um, someone dropped it on the floor. And I have been too scared to turn it on since it got dropped on the floor. So, uh, that was three months ago. <laughs> I really liked it though. It's that fragile. I I haven't I haven't I don't know. It might not be broken. Something. Ba ba the reason why I haven't turned it back on again is because something is rattling in it now. It feels like there's a screw loose somewhere, and I'm a little afraid that it, I'm gonna have to you know have an ordeal. I'm gonna have to open it up and see if I can re retouch the screw, and that became enough of an ordeal that I didn't want to. I don't want to, 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 you know, mess with it. Wow, we're getting shrekt here. What the hell? Wait, how can you get me from there? Oh, that's bullshit. It's probably a plastic clip the screws when we get loose after that. Yeah, probably. And, and I thought I killed these guys. Shotgun guys are just amazing. You're amazing. Oh, thank you, Trevor. All right, who are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting each other. What am I doing wrong here, chat? Am I supposed to just sprint like crazy or, or what? Actual skill issue. That's why I'm asking. What am I supposed to be doing? Because I feel like as I'm dodging the rockets, I can't go I can't stay behind cover, so I have to keep moving. And as I keep moving, the machine gun gets me. Blind fire with rockets instead of tracking. How do you, you can do that? I knew you could do it in the first game. I know you could do it in this game.
Yeah, this seems kind of shit. I don't know what else to call it. Alright, he's dead. Alright, let's save it. Run up. Get the rocket. Time your rocket between the the machine gun fire interval. Yeah, but then I have to keep moving because the rocket's gonna hit me. Maybe the, the 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 armored car was just really good at landing a rocket there, or maybe there was like some some mine there that I was setting off. I didn't even realize. It felt like as I was going there and I was trying to juke, I would either run out and get hit by the, the machine gun fire, or I would have to stand still and I would get hit by the by the, the the missiles. So I don't know. Maybe there was like a grenade being thrown in the cycle I was in, or maybe there was a mine. I don't know. Maybe it was something like that. About that beer, yo, me. Oh, we see next is pretty easy and safe. I did it. I'll send you a gun on this. No, I know. I know that it's not too bad. It's just, um, oh, there is a mine here. Was I running into that mine? I don't think I was running into that mine. Maybe there was another mine back there. I know it's not too bad. I just like, it's, that's, you know, I even have some tiny little screwdrivers. Um, that's just like, in my head, it's a project and I'm just not doing it. So, yeah. I'm afraid I'm gonna find out it's broken. Five ever. You have right headphone off? I do, yes. So I can hear upstairs if something happens with the kids. Okay. Run this group of citizens over to the train. I have, an, I have an, um, a set of open-eared headphones, um, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work with um, streaming with the capture device that I have. Like, it causes the echo, so I can't use them. I should get a USB set of the um, of open-ear, but yeah, I haven't done that either. Saga was legendary, wasn't it? Go back and get another group. I'll stay here and guard the gate. How many are we doing? Man, we don't need to procreate. There are enough of us. Time the other train's gonna fall.
I like that the last wave is Metro Cops. It's like the scrape in the barrel. Oh, that's a neat, that's a neat detail. Cool, yeah. I was expecting a helicopter to show up. To the trains, people. We'll make sure you get there safe and No, sound. to the belts. For Birger. Oh, Barney's coming this time. This is the last one. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Will you stream Starfield when it comes out? Ooh, now there's a spicy question. Oh, I don't know about that. Like, I'd be an idiot not to do something on Starfield, right? Have we ever streamed a Bethesda game at launch? Can you imagine the power? Do it. Do it. Closed. That should keep them off our backs for a while. You Lighting change. Going? Go on, Barney. They're not after you. Gordon and I will draw their attention while you get the others away from here. We can grab another train once you're clear. Okay, then. Don't take too long about it, yeah? Okay, then. Here, let's open up this next track. Excuse me. Oh, I thought this was the end. Like, there's, a, there's a turret section, and then there's the end, right? When we're on the train. Never saw him again. Did he just slide into the railing? Oh no, the force field's not calibrated for me. Squish. I'll get a head start on the next train. No Barney died on his way back to his home planet. Remind me in five minutes to take my tart out of the oven. What did she do? That's a plus two, Anu. What the hell? Come on. I thought you would like that joke. I spe specifically thought you would laugh at that when I said it. God damn it. Alright, what are we doing? It was not. Wow. Oh, we're going this way. It did not make me laugh. I think it did. Uh, friendly striders Jerma would have made that plan. That's true. That's true. What's it like being Jerma and never having a bad joke? Website to track German's badge. Yeah, and is it just a blank, blank website? Shit. Oh, 
told you the writing would be received five like you released today. Um, for the dialogue and everything, not very well. For for the the world building, I think the world building holds up really really well. Uh oh. How do I keep forgetting? <laughs> I just automatically assume because explosions happened, all the all the explosives are gone. They could have made a new boss. Yeah. Big Gears of War vibes. I fucking love using cover so much. waifu on a train. Bring back memories. Okay, what were you trying to do? Thing there's 16 more. Oh, 
Oh, where's the turret section? I mean, the turret section is the beginning of episode two, because I played episode two very quickly to get to the gnome for a video once. More like, no, I said it before. Turns out Joe actually put all this. Absolutely not. I stopped when I got the gnome. Did you get the Chivo? I'm not sure. I like the episode to do better than Half Life 2 and Episode 1. Whoa! Whoa! I think the explosion looked pretty cool at the end there. But the gnome is before the turret part? What? Alright. Quick game. Alright. Did I get the achievement? The one free bullet. I got the achievement. Today, 8.2% of players have this achievement. There we go. Half-Life Episode 2. I have no achievements for Half-Life Episode 2. Thank you, Mathiv Penneth, for gifting out a sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, He Plomp, for the new sub. And thank you, Sirs Plexiest, for the resub. Hopefully, I can still say your name. All right. Here we go. Anything I want to turn off? Half-Life Episode 2 came out in October of 2007. Episode 1 came out in June of 2006. And Half-Life 2 itself came out in November of 2004. So not bad, actually. Not bad. You should look at the gnome alone achievement for this real quick. It has an interesting description. Should I do that, chat? We discussed the possibility of modding the gnome to be an anime girl in Jad's thoughts. I'm surprised you didn't do it. Gnome alone. Let's see. Where's gnome alone? Gnome alone. Gnome alone. No Malone. I do not see No Malone in the achievement list. Is it a secret achievement? Grave Robber, Hot Potato, Deadly Harvest, Bone Breaker, Payback, Defense of an Armament of the Arm Armament? What the hell is that? Neighborhood Watch, Secondary Silo Secured, Little Rocket Man. Oh, Little Rocket Man. Is that it? Send the Garden Gnome into Space. Is it that one? Little Rocket Man? No, well, I see it. Do you, do you have it? Is that why you see it? No, Malone is not on my list. Wait, hold on. I do have it. It's up there. Gnome Alone, if you're reading this achievement, Gabe Newell has successfully launched Gnome Chomsky into space. It's 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 on the I have it list. How do I have it? 
If you did not also receive the achievement Manufacturing Ascent, Newell has abandoned his plans to shoot Noam Chomsky into, into space. Oh. Like, it's, sorry, it's, it's not that I have it on my list. I have it, like, on my achievements. I have it at 1 out of 23. Why do I have that? Because Gabe Newell did it. Everyone has it. Me, Gabe Newell. To the White Forest. Do, 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 do. Thank you for the gift subs, Phoenix Thank you very much. And thank you, Apocalyptic Gymnastics, <laughs> for the resub. Nice coincidence there. Thank you. Lattice gymnast. Oh, we're on train again. Wasn't a single trolley in episode one, by the way. Always use a belt instead of the trains. Let's hope this still works. Stand back. Here goes. Oh, wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. I couldn't find you. I, could... I know, I know. I shouldn't have worried. Well, we should keep moving. I'm sure the Combine haven't forgotten about us. I heard Vortigaunts a few minutes ago. Maybe they're still around. Do 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 how does Gordon not have any questions about what's going on? This game's so weird. Silent protagonists just don't work sometimes. I don't know if it works with Gordon Freeman. Like, his situation is so strange. Uh, can you guys tell me where the gnome is? Because the gnome I remember was in some rubble somewhere a little into the game i remember having to do some sort of turret thing and then after that i i got the gnome all right where are we going oh man looks cool are we open here to the white forest oh look at that man Oh my god. The Citadel. What the hell is happening? The Lich King is coming through. Look at the Sky Pillar, man. Marvel shit. Yeah, someone shot seeing it too. Oh, portal storm. It's a portal storm. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. You just made that up. all over again. I 
hope we don't get many more. You know I wasn't there for that, right? I have no idea what's going on. Gordon, ask a question. I hadn't noticed it before. How would she know? Because they all know where he's been. They all because they hired him from the G Man. Because they know he's been taken somewhere. Because no one's like, where the hell have you been this whole time? They all just know where he's been. Joe said, no, no, I'm not kidding. They really do know where he's been. Because otherwise, why is anyone asking, like, where the fuck have you been all this time, Gordon? And how are you just suddenly back? They're like, oh, I expected more warning for his return and all this other shit. Like, like no, the, clearly they know he's been stuck somewhere. Matt? I can shoot now, right? There's not a, uh, an achievement like that for this one. Oh, great! The ant lines are back. My favorite. This is a neat area. Look at the flashlight HUD. Why? Oh. Oh, -ho! oh, that's a good change. They should have just modded that back in throughout the whole entire game. Like, who cares? Episode one and the base. They should have just retroactively change that. New tech, true. Oh, here he is. This is him, right? Dr. Kleiner and my dad are up north at an old missile base. I hope they're still using this frequency. Okay, I don't remember going for any further than this. Where's the turret section? They're trying to help launch a Ah, here we go. Damn. What now? Oh, he's unbreakable? Okay. Let me see if I can get it working again. Yes. This could take a while. Hey, if you have any blinding insights into how to fix this, go for it. Chivo would be very hard if you broke. I got trolley chan through a fucking flooded tunnel with a 90 degree turn. I want to hear it. It would have been better if he could break. You Check fix in. it. White Forest. White Forest, this is Alex Vance. Do you read? White Forest, come in. White Forest, are you there? Alex, my goodness. Is that really you? Yes, and Gordon too. We're okay. We made it out of City 17. <sighs> Alex, thank God. I can hardly believe it. Don't worry, Dad. We're fine. But something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh, yes. We've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused oh, into TV's a on TV. beam of portal energy. It's the Combine. 
No. They're trying to open another gateway. Yes. What you're seeing is the infancy of a super portal. If it Already? Full strength, I expected more warning. Seven hour war oh, there it is. Seven hour war. Okay. Except this time we won't last seven minutes. My God. I will. Gordon, what if that's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel? So that data from the Citadel in the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnuson, did you hear that? I'll bet it's the Combine Portal Code. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. Hello, villain. Been Who the fuck are you? Since. Well, of course they have. You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. Hey, Poochie. Somewhere in that sequence, they would have had to Who the fuck is this? With the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine Overworld. Good God. Now, if I am right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? Well, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. And now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can, you two. God's Dad? Sake. Dad, you're breaking sweep. up. Come in. Biotics Dad, are you confirmed. there? Dad! Continue oh, surface no. sector sweep. Remote compliance. They're still tracking Exterminate. us. Exterminate. Seek to keep passive moving. signature imprint. Mandates of level restrictions. Come on, this way. Buildings look like they've seen some use recently. We should find a way out there. Joe's ain't Joe's confused. I remember doing a turret section, but I don't remember getting out of that room with the gnome. It was like it's like it was a small room and I think there were three three entrances and it was ant lions and ant lions were coming through and the ant lions and yet you, I think you only had like enough turrets to cover two paths is that a secret area that's that's at the end of the chapter I maybe I saw someone do it then maybe I saw in a trailer Dr. has an old rocket up at white forest He's been hoping for the day when he could launch a satellite to tap into the old array they set up at Black Mesa. But getting a launch off while the Combine was intact? There was just no way. I'm not sure how they'll use it. What was that? So you did play it? Um, I absolutely know that I didn't finish it. I don't think I got any further than that. I don't even know if I did play it that far. Maybe I just saw someone do it. I know what happens at the end of this game, because of course, how could I not? Um, so, uh, I don't, um, at least I think I do. Um, and I don't, I didn't play it. So, I don't know. I, sorry, I know it's weird to know something and then from knowing something, know that you didn't do it yourself. I know I didn't do it myself. Joe Dimension, yeah, maybe, honestly, maybe. I'm starting to get worried right now. Do you know that stuff? No, because I've never I've never seen what happens at the end. I just know what happens at the end because I read it somewhere. Shh, quiet. We're not alone. So okay, that that's that's the cleanest way to explain it. I know what happens at the end, but I've never seen what happens at the end. So, so I know I've never gotten to the end myself, but now I'm starting to worry, like how far did I, okay, I have like no memory of this area whatsoever. Like, like this part, maybe I just saw, maybe I was just clicking through Twitch streams one night and I saw someone do that and, um, they were at that part that, that has to be it. 
because I don't remember ever walking past the gnome, and I don't have any achievements for this game either. Like my, my achievement list is completely bare on uh, on Steam. How much do you think you know about? How much do you think about how your videos impact someone who never played the game? The videos about, given the viewer counts, has to be one. Most of your audience just waltzes past every spoiler warning, right? Mm, not necessarily. Uh, remember, my viewer counts are inflated a bit um, by people who watch the video more than once or need more than one view to finish the video. So, especially the longer videos, I would say any any video longer than an hour, if someone finishes that video, m most of the time they're probably Careful doing that in two sessions and it's two views. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty strict about my spoiler warnings for that reason because I don't want people to get spoiled. It's, it's a big consideration of mine because I think you should always experience things yourself first. Like my, my videos are not buyer's guides by any means. They're, they're opinion supplements. You're just meant to play the game, think you have a good opinion, and then you come watch my video instead to get the to get the real good opinion. How's that? Man, this this gnome is way too easy to move around. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh oh. Wait, is she dead? Here comes dog. Oh. Vortigi's expression of shock. All right. All right. Well, this sucked. Oh, you can just do whatever you want, huh? All right. The Alex Vance. The. What time has come? Ah, the free man. I am pleased to see at least you are unharmed. But the Alex Vance, her condition is grave. Oh, she's dead? Okay. This sucks. Killing her will require more than I alone can conjure. Fetch quest? Let me summon my kin. Fetch quest. Fetch quest. Fetch quest. Fetch quest. Why did it suck? I don't know, it just seems kind of forced that you go through a room and then you go through a vent and it just doesn't let you crawl out in time to fight the thing that came out. Like, like we fought everything before and it's just, oh, all of a sudden, no, invisible wall can't get through. And then just watch her get stabbed. It just kind of felt shit to me. Just have her get hurt in the train crash. But then we couldn't have the line about the portal storm, I guess. You don't even got, I have the most powerful gun in the world. Location. The gravity gun. The surface. We must move her there quickly. I will stabilize her if the free man will provide us with protection. I don't have a gun, I can't do that. Let us hurry, free man. Help awaits us in the mines. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this ever. So I must not have played that section myself then. I must have saw someone do it. That's weird. I could swear I I I did that myself. Oh, memory's weird. What the fuck? <gasps> oh. I will take 
taken to my kill Freeman. by another path. I need a cover, dude. Someone asked for a break. I think we're like eight minutes away from break. Is there a bet around break? Oh no, oh no. Are better on bets. I was thinking last night. All right, chat, chat. Bet, bet setters, bet setters of of the community. I have a proposal for you. I think that instead of betting on amounts of deaths and tears and sh stuff like that, anything that there's a scaled amount. All right. I think that it would be more fun because to 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 change it that in, that everyone's bet stays valid until the end. So instead of saying Joe is going to die X amount of times, I think that it should be Joe is going to die an odd number of times or an even number of times. And then every single death, there's tension for the whole entire bet. Instead of when there's there's one bet, like if, if it's, oh, he's only going to die twice. Then after that, if I die more than twice, then that's it. It's done. It's over. Like you're out of the game. You don't give a shit anymore. You know what I mean? Whereas if it's like a bet that can be like the outcome is determined right at the end. Everyone still has like some stake in the game. I think that it would be more fun to do that. Now you can combine it too. It could be like, I think there's going to be more than, than this amount of deaths and it's going to be odd or even. So there's different tiers that would make it a little more complicated and you could still have, you know, still have a, a chance to guess. And it's not going to work for all the time, but I think it's more fun to, 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 to have it be their stakes the whole time. This is really awkward. Terrible idea, bets that come down to RNG like that suck. Ooh, what else? There's no skill in predicting shit. Like, what was the skill in predicting that I was gonna, like, get myself into a quick low death spiral and stubbornly bash my head against it the whole entire time? That could have easily just not happened. That was one hundred percent not. Uh, that was one percent gonna happen. It didn't happen every stream. It only happened twice in this whole entire run. Look, I'm not saying it has to like. It has to be that way for every bet. Just if it's gonna be a bet that that is mostly like guess try and make the bet something that the, the guesses stay relevant for the whole entire duration instead of like oh okay an hour into this i'm my, my bit's already done margaret thatcher detected you you me me what me what?
Can we please knock you Jose Jose D? Jose D is great! What's wrong with the idea? If the bet is already luck based, change it so it's luck based in a way that everyone can can take part. Try and put effort into it so so people aren't like left out after the first stage of the 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 bet progression. It's not luck based. Listen to what I'm saying. If it is If it's not, then okay. If you want to make a prediction based on, on knowledge and your and, and like uh, of how I play in the game, then okay, that's fine. They can still have their 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 um their space for sure. What the hell is that? Best thing is a fun, th fun to bet on. You can try and make an educated guess or go for the hail mary and sometimes it pays off. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to, to be used there. Okay, I think that uh, that is random. But if most people in chat disagree and they want the bet to be a mount, that's fine. Like we don't, we don't have to do it there. But if there was like another case, like with something, an amount of something, and it was just purely like you know, I can't think of an example off the top of my head. But if it was completely luck based, then I think it would be more fun if it was uh, all the options were something that people could. Could pick, and they're not going to be left out if we blow past one of the uh, the outcomes really quickly. This seems like a place you can get to. I think I'm off the gnome. Oh, this doesn't have like collision or anything. Why is this, are we eating the bugs? Mm. New antline just dropped. Shit, but I, honestly, I didn't even know I had a gun. When did I get a gun? Rip achievement. There is no achievement for this one. Did you put the difficulty on hard mode? I think I did. Yeah, there we go. There's a kill all grubs achievement. All right. Did I already miss one though? Now I can go back and get them.
Whoa. What the hell? Why are those there? It's kind of a weird place. Sorry, I'm not going to shoot all the grubs. I don't think that's going to happen. For fuck's sake, man. This I don't remember at all. I don't remember these things either. Good thing I left a shotgun down here. Alright, now we're over time. Let's go have a break. Come on. happening here just put him here or or we got a new box what Stay on! There you go. There you go. Alright. Alright. Be back in five minutes.
Alright, so for that, got uh, detoured by a baby. The fuck is the digital root? How are you not here for the Zero Escape streams? AKA the best streams of all time. I really wish I hadn't uh, got rid of those uh, explosive barrels right now. Wait, you do streams? But Chatter, I'm doing a stream right now! Or wh what am I doing? I don't stream, I do live experiences. Why are you looking at me, dog? It's not. This is an achievement to kill all of the- who would do that? Why would they do that? Did they do it just to see if people would do it? You- no, I wouldn't do this. This is Korok Seed bullshit. If the achievement's not fun, I'm not gonna do it. Oh no! You can't eat that. He's too big for you. Oh god, there's so many of them. No, let me through! Wait, do I have to kill them? Because usually with ant lions, you just run through because they just spawn forever. I have never done this chat. I'm, I don't understand how I know about the turret section. I'm, I'm kind of freaked out. The Vortal Coil. Yeah, this, th this to me is like, in my memory, this was the end of episode one. What the what, what makes you think the turret section is real? Well, I'm at it right now, Chevy. This is it. This is the turret section. Oh, they painted them. That's cute.
More Bojanic Field? Yeah, probably. Man goes to the doctor, says he's really depressed, has lost his spark for life, doesn't see any meaning in going on anymore. Doctor says, you're in luck. Just so happens that the, the world famous game critic, Joseph Anderson, is just about to release his video on Witcher 3. You'll really enjoy that. It'll make you, give you a new spark for life. The man bursts into tears and says to the doctor, But doctor, I am Joseph Anderson. And the doctor says, Where's the video, bitch? <laughs> Alright, is there any more gun turrets or no? Doesn't look like it. Freeman. As well. Ooh, assault rifle. Now that guy laughed at me plus two, and you laughed at the earlier one too. Yeah, well, about that. As long as you're down here, Freeman, maybe you can give us a hand. Let me show you how the antlion sensors work. Got some supplies over here if you need them. So we have quite a lot of turrets. Okay. This sensor will light up if an ant lion's coming down this tunnel. All right. More lights mean more ant lions. Okay. How do we know this? When the tunnel lights up. We move a few turrets in front of it. All right. Pretty simple, eh, Doc? Hey, Doc. On your way here, you weren't followed, were you? Don, nah, listen to him, Doc. We're on edge because this place is riddled with ant lions. And noticed. The board says. As long as we don't step on their grubs, they shouldn't hear us this far from the nest. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, that's a theory I'd rather not test. We're down to our last two turrets. Uh, are, are my boots Maybe clean? These are held together by bailing wire and duct tape at this point. Nice to have them in a pinch, but I wouldn't exactly trust them with my life. Hey, Griggs. You might want to show Dr. Freeman where we keep the supplies, huh? Oh, yeah. Down there by the board. Everything you need for Doc. They're coming. One light. Let's move. All of the lights. I'm sorry, chat. Are we discussing which turrets are hotter, the ones in Half-Life or Portal? Yeah. What's there to discuss? It's clearly the ones in Portal. It's not even close. No. He really just asked that? Oh my god. I keep cringing. Over here, Shackley! We got the bridge. We'll be okay as long as they stick to one tunnel. Dr. Green, you take care of the turrets.
Freeman. But things were pretty quiet until you showed up. Swarm at 24! Come on, come on, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming! Riveting. Come on, try to keep up. Let's just stay here. It's trying to figure out how you remember this. Yeah, I'm. Like, like, it's getting weird because I remember, I remember doing this. I don't remember seeing. It. I remember doing this. I remember running around. I remember holding them up. I remember setting them. Like. Maybe I did do this and I just stopped after this and I don't remember the part before this. It's weird, in my memory it's black and white too. It's not, it wasn't even color. Can they all survive? You guys still alive? Oh, they're both still alive. Alright, that's good. There can't be many more. What the hell makes you think that? Got... Now they're all Incoming gonna turn 26. on. Them. And the breach! And 24! Oh god, they're coming from everywhere!
You done? That nest must be bigger than we thought. All right, gotta be done now, right? Two lights. We can't hold out much longer. We'll take thirty-six. Got to watch all the tunnels, Raymond. Heart broke. Oh crap. Oh, well, this sucks. Two lights. We can't hold out much longer. We'll take thirty six. Got to watch all the tunnels, Freeman. You should just like make a heart box in front of them instead of like actually connecting you. That was fucking weird. We're good, we're done. Three lights, we got three lights. Why are there so many? All of the lights. Get him, the three lights! Get him! Really? Because you guys were really easy to kill in Half-Life 1, so... Oh, we're not done. Fantastic.
was like one light at each. This doesn't feel like three lights. If this was a Kojima game, there would be ten ant lions for every single grub that you squished on the way here. Seems to be much oh yeah, we, we'd be talking to the Vort in the cinematic right now and he would be waxing philosophical about how his electric powers can heal. Does that energy destroy the energy? The proliferation of the energy must not come to pass. So you just, just keep going and going. I'm high voltage, man. Injuries are grave. This will necessitate deep submersion in the Vortex. Indeed. You know what? Require the larval extract. Maybe Kojima was consulted after all. Extract. Yes. Agreed. I will make the journey to seek the extract deep within the nest in the sacred Nectarium. But I cannot hope to bring it back. We must remain to keep. The Why can Vortex heal? Because. Their powers are based on light and energy, which to anyone in the audience, that can just do anything, so who cares? So because they're, they're very vague, that vagueness can translate into, it can literally do whatever we want it to whenever the plot decides it. That's why. They can heal, they can stop time, they can travel you know, through time, through time and space. Like, who cares? Oh. Well... Oh shit! We have it so oh, okay. their immediate number. Now to the next matter. Phew. Emergency. The next matter. Emergency. The Alex. Injuries are great. This, this will necessitate deep submersion in the Vortessian seed. We require the larval extract. Mm. Oh, yes. The extract. The extract. The extract. Okay. I will make the journey to seek the extract deep in the nest in the sacred nest. Is it in Helheim? Hope to bring it back. We must remain to keep the Alex Vance alive. Please, Freeman, join me. Yes, Kane. Yes, there is no. Yes, companion. take the fire with Freeman. Yes, yes, no finder companion. Yes. Better get moving, Doc. Follow the fort. We can leave the gnome here and it'll be fine. You have a number next to your name? I need someone without a number next to your name to tell me. Yeah? Okay, all right. Yeah, why not? Why can't you do that? Pinata. All right, I don't kill ant lions. Just so you know, we're just gonna run past them. No, I don't want to. We're just gonna keep on going. Does he know what it is? 
Pinata is? He plays in Viva Pinata on uh, on Xbox. Yes, fight! Yes! One night line v with all these zombies is gonna win! Oh, it wasn't even close. Oh, okay. some big Ravenholm vibes right now. Passive aggressive backseating right now. Huh, what do we have to do here? Eat some more McDonald's, I guess. This part I don't remember at all either. Oh, these guys are still here. That's good. These guys are pretty fun. In, in like a shit way. Okay, so is this based on like a pulley system with the uh, with the other elevator? Oh, it's not. I need to weigh it down so I have time to jump on it, I'm guessing. Huh. 
How are you enjoying Factoria Space Exploration so far? So, I think I'm hitting a wall, and it's gotten to the point now where it's pretty tedious, and I don't know if I want to continue doing it. Like, I don't know. I, I don't want to give up, because I don't want to be a quitter, but, like, I, I, I set up a, a space bus in the asteroid field, and I'm regretting doing that, because I feel like it was a waste of time. And now I'm like starting to make like um, like having to mess around with thermo fluid and all this other shit, and it's just there's just so much shit to put on the bus and on the belts and everything, and I and I'm just I'm thinking that I just didn't do it right, and instead I should have just went with a more spaghetti layout for just make what I need for the first rounds of science. I've like almost done all of the the first round of production and the first round of utility, and now I'm getting into astronomy, and it's like it's it's interesting. I like I like the the setup they have to do. But like, holy shit, is there a lot of um, awkwardness with setting up all those production chains? I don't know. But I don't even have trains, space trains unlocked, and I wish I did. I'm also finding it hard to get oil in space because uh, I set up a um, a biological gel, bio bio gel with no, it was not called bio gel. I can't remember what it's called. Um, with methane gas because I have. Uh, a lot of methane gas in the asteroid field and like I found a I found like a an asteroid that had like two million of it which is pretty low like I found another asteroid that has like a like two like, like 230 iron 230 million iron so that, so that's how it scales up but like I found one that had like two million methane on it and like I, I ran through that like so fast so like I'm burning through so much methane to make uh to make oil in space and I don't like shooting it up in the delivery cannons, although I am doing that with coal. I have a lot of rockets because I'm using, um, what you call it, core mining on Navas. So I have effectively infinite amount of rockets I want to wait. I think I, I think I have like packed in, um, in two containers, whatever the, whatever the largest container is, the level six container, I have two of those full with packed uh, rocket cargo parts that are five each so ever how many slots that is that times five i have two of them full and i have another one of those 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 level six warehouses full of unpacked car, uh, rocket warehouses so i i have a shit ton of rockets if i want to send it around but i find it a waste to send to ship things with rockets because my rockets fucking crash so i wanted to research um uh safety before i got into like trading things with rockets and that's hard to set up right now without using the rockets first you know do I use barrels? I use barrels for for a bit. Yeah, I was I was shooting up uh, crude oil barrels from a delivery cannon, and um, and lubricant as well. But now I don't need to do any more because I can make my own in space. The only thing I need to shoot up is coal. Everything else I can make myself in space right now. I did have to seed um, the biological stuff with the, with the methane though, with like just an absolute shit ton of fish, and it was kind of funny that the fish had a purpose. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. I want to because I don't want to be a quitter, like I said, but it's, it's, it's getting a little, like, not fun. Oh, shit. What the... F what the hell even happened there? What's harder, Dyson Sphere or Factorio Space Mod? Oh, like, like, Factorio Space Mod by, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not smart enough to tell you the exponential factor that this space exploration is harder than Dyson Sphere. Like, Dyson Sphere program is a baby game compared to Factorio Space Exploration. Baby, baby, baby game. And I like Dyson Sphere program, so I'm not saying that as someone who's like trying to be like all fucking elitist about it. I really like Dyson Sphere program. Can you can you fix it? Well, next to the parade of obstacles. All right, that's a good line. Oh, oh sh.
Bro, for fuck's sake! So this is, get all the shit off of it before it falls. What? 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 How? Alright, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's... Jam it. Alright, we're jamming. We're jamming. We're jam- It's jam. It's- I j- I, I jammed it! Alright, we got them all. Thank you, thank you. Alright, what happens here? We go up, alright, and it's like everything's Gucci, and then all of a sudden, the Emperor's back somehow. What happens? Oh, that, that's all that happens, alright. Should we say fuck it to Black Mesa and just play Atomic Heart next week? Alright, here it's bad. That should be a, a good time. There's nothing chat likes more than a bad game. That's why they keep making me play all these anime games. Bad game, Hot Robo Babes. Sounds like a, a joke anime. Hey, I like my Hot Robo Babes to not look like Robo Babes, Merrick. I'm very particular. 2B doesn't look like a robot. She just so happens to be a robot. To be, to be. I don't, maybe I'm playing space exploration wrong. I don't know. Good line. Still a good line. I'm finding, finding it very hard to keep up with the constant demand for heat shielding and um, low density material. Oh, there's a ladder. All right. One second. I want to make sure there's nothing down there. But inventory is boring because I feel like I can't lose inventory. If you turn the difficulty up, it just gets tedious. I mean, you you definitely like can lose to the point that you just want to restart or you lose your entire factory to biters and stuff. I feel like the, the, the fail state in Factorio is more, oh shit, I made something completely useless and now I have to tear it down and start again. I don't know, I don't think, um, I don't think Factorio needs a fail state like that. No pit would be complete without a Freeman climbing out of it. Why does everyone just suck Freeman off? Seriously. Alright, what's back up here? Let us find our way to that vibratory haven. 
Someone's been eating their thesaurus flakes. To be honest, if Freeman existed at IRL, people would worship him like a god. Why? What has he done? He hasn't done anything! Yes, l look how effective. So effective. friends why are you guys friends you're, you're you're literally right here it's not doing shit okay that is a weird animation there stuck feels like the damage is coming out the second the animation starts crowbar attack Trident Radiator? Critic Brain out again. Yeah, it's exhausting. Can't turn it off. Like, on the one hand, it's it's really, really cool that I got to turn, like, my favorite hobby into, like, a vocation. And I also got to continue exploring my favorite hobby after becoming a father because otherwise I wouldn't be, I'd have time to do it. But on the other hand, I turned my favorite hobby into my vocation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what are we doing? I thought we were going to turn this off and then we were going to, um, like fight the, uh, the boss. This room seems kind of vaguely familiar to me. Oh god, did I did I play the whole game? I don't think I did. There's no way. Didn't this happen once before on stream where I said I hadn't played a game and we were playing it and I was like, oh, I did play up to this part and then we got all the way to the end and I was like, actually, you know what? It turns out I played this whole last game. <laughs> Didn't that happen once before and I just forgot or did I dream that? I'm morphed, but yeah, I'm morphed. All in one? Is that like three for free? Two for one? No, it was a movie. It was a mo I remember watching a movie, and I remember I, I ended up I, I had watched the whole last movie, and I just I just hadn't seen the first five minutes. I told that story on stream. That's what that's where I'm getting mixed up with. I can't remember what movie it was though. Fro it wasn't Frozen. No, it wasn't Boss Baby. I have seen Boss Baby. Summon the lift. Oh, was I supposed to do that? Oh, it's one of those slow-moving lifts that are everywhere. All right. Freeman, oh no, they heard someone using the lift. Not on their watch. Vortigon commando guy can't die, right? Said I, I've seen a scene of this movie, and then I hadn't seen the whole thing. So then I, it came on the TV one night. This was a long time ago, like a long, long, long time ago. And I remember I, I was like, I was watching it. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll finally see the end of it. And then the credits rolled, and I was like, oh my god, I had seen this whole last movie. <laughs> there, there was never a new point in that movie where I was like, oh yeah, this is the part I haven't seen. <laughs> I 
completely fucking forgotten. And I feel that way about this game right now. Now, th this. I don't know. I don't think about this. Yeah, the elevator. Let's go. What? What do you mean? I'm the player character. I always go last. Oh, you're dead, dude. gonna get a good Yelp review at the end of this. Is that ever explained how they broke us out of G-Man's control? We got no questions? That dealt 80 damage. Yeah, we're on hard, so it's, it's pretty hard. Oh. There was a whole ass other elevator? Why didn't you go on that one before then? We could have rode up together and shot them. All right. Observe how they fight on below. Feel this capacity. Well, this is all very amusing. But we must not forget the gravity of our errand to heal the Alex Vance. <laughs> I like it when games allow me to duck through the rising door before it's fully opened. If your game has a rising door and a crouch function, and you put an invisible wall on the door that I can't get through, and I have to wait for the whole thing to open because you didn't let me crouch under it, that's a minus two for me. That's a whole point down off your score. Oh, it's just another one of those things. Oh, no, I fought a bunch of those. You're gross, dude. I mean, I agree, but I'm not happy about it. Whoa. Thank you. No hope for my queer ass for the resub. Always fun to say that one. Thank you very much. And thank you to Imper Imperative Ocond? No, that's not right. Imperativo Cond, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. For the new sub. Thank you very much. Also, one second chat.
Can you co-stream State of Play in the Corner? I cannot, no, I cannot do that. I'm not Jerma, sorry, I can't do that. Not many viewers today compared to the other Half-Life streams. People don't really care about an episode two or are they just kind of kind of tired of Half-Life two? I wouldn't um, be surprised if that was the case, but I thought episode two would be like, oh, cool, episode two, I haven't seen that one. No Charlie Chan, that's true, yeah, no Charlie Chan. I'm happy with the viewer numbers, by the way. Like, 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 still over a thousand being like low is just insane to me. Oh, like cramp. Ow. This shaft connects to the chamber above, where my kin sustain the Alexans. Once we have the extract, we can rejoin them quickly, provided we can restore elevator. Lamayo got him. A wind from below bears the scent of extract. The sea Oh, so so gunfire. What about an explosion? So explosions don't do shit, but I go over and like just nick it with 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 the tip of my toe. When you reach the lower chamber, you must find a way. And that's it. Okay, cool. Whatever. All right, what does it want me to do here? Is there a ladder? Remember, do not kill the guardian, or the extract will be ruined. Oh. I thought this like turned the elevator back on and I was gonna go back into the elevator. I didn't realize it was still going this way. Mabi. What the fuck cross PlayStation shit? I think, I think, proof that Joe's not played I have not played this part for sure. This part has, is not even a little tingle of memory. I think that we should start a petition as gamers, as society to make it so we all have to adopt all game consoles and all game pads have to adopt the same button layout now i personally prefer i think the playstation one but i think that it's a better sell and more people are used to having letters on it i think we should just all go to the same a, B, Y, X layout. And that's it on all game pads forever, 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 forever. That's what we should do. I'm I'm tired of this game pad, Xbox, different than the Switch, fucking, and then the PlayStation does its own thing. Like, like it, ha it has to go. It has to go. At the very least, those motherfuckers at Microsoft and Nintendo need to have a meeting and be like, all right, you know what? We're, we're going to... We're gonna make our layouts the same at least. If you're using letters, it has to be the same fucking layout. Or, or, controversial, controversial, how about we go A, B, bottom right, and square triangle top left best of both worlds Every, everyone is unhappy that's what you need to do everyone's unhappy that's cursed good I don't give a shit as long as it's consistent on every gamepad this is bullshit
Solomon cutting the baby in half? You know it. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. The one that gets a hit on me doesn't die from, from the alt shotgun blast. Alright, am I killing you or probably I guess. Oh god, no, you're killing me. He just turns around and just hits you. That feels kind of scuffed too, actually. Where it just feels like, hey, if you're close to it, you'll just take damage if you're in range. <laughs> Can't get me. Can't get me. Oh shit, he can get me! Can I not kill him? Oh my god. Alright, so I have to like, run in. Run in, slide, keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright. Stop being oh, I'm beating! What am I beating? I should move have enough ammo. Forget, the, forget about what? Forget about Dre? Did he say that? I don't remember him saying that. I don't even think I heard that. Was that was did he say that when he was to the right of me? I didn't hear it in my other headphone. Quickly chat. Was he was he to the right of me when he said it? You were looking at him. Like a little to the right though? It was after he fell in the fan Oh maybe I was dying when he said it then I wasn't paying attention. All right, how do I get past you, dude? He did. He said it. He said it multiple times. Multiple times. Oh man. I've, I've never been more owned. Good thing this isn't a weed game or else the weeds would be angry I wasn't paying attention. Maybe Joe checked out on this. I'm I'm pretty checked out when it comes to listening to the NBC in these games to be honest, but uh, clearly I shouldn't be because I don't know what to do. Oh for fuck's sake. No, let me in. Okay, this looks familiar. All 
Alright, and now we can just loop back around again. Speaking of weavings, when will Joe play AI too? Uh, at the rate we're going, probably sometime in August. Oh, you just spawn back here. That's interesting. August this year, maybe. I think I would be enjoying this a lot more if it was a new enemy and not a reskin version of the same thing that we fought like three times in Half-Life 2. That blew it up. Then we hide. <sighs> really annoying, actually. All right, then we hide. All right, and this time we run in. He knows where we are at all times. All right, here we go. Come, and then we run. Yep, here we go. This time we're gonna make it. This time we're gonna make it. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. All right, can I, I don't have any grenades left. Do I have any explosives at all? Oh, you know what I could do? I could, um, I could juke her into a wall, and then when she hits the wall, I'll run around. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. L let me juke her into a wall. Where's she coming? Juke. Yeah, alright. We juked her into a wall. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, it works. See? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, go away. How the hell did you get down here? Uh-oh. This looks like a big boy combat room. Big boys because this is a... Uh, this game's for big boys. Unlike, unlike Witcher. there goodies that was not worth it that was not worth it okay I guess we keep going this looks really cool I like this
Turn something on somewhere. No. What's your favorite genre of games? First person shooters. Um I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think I have a favorite genre of games. I sense the freeman down below. Activate the elevator that we may reconvene. Because it's kind of a shit answer. It's like, what's your favorite color? None of them. Like, it's just like, it's not interesting to not have, like, it's a conversation killer. And as a streamer, I should be starting trying to start conversation and riff the chat. But I honestly just like, I, I don't really have a, oh, we need to find a gear. I don't think I really have a favorite genre. I'm pretty, um... All over the place with what I like. Like, the games I've enjoyed most of over the past 10 years or so have been Souls-likes, but... Like, I'm, I'm probably the most out of love with them right now as I have been since I first started playing them. Thanks, Elden Ring. Um, I, I, I really, I love, love Hollow Knight, but I gotta tell you, like, I don't really like most Metroidvanias that I play. I find them kind of tedious. I don't, I don't like Super Metroid. I really love Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. But, like, Super Metroid is, is not a good game to me. Did I, like... Oh, it's right here. It was hiding under the thing. So I... I fucked myself by shooting that there. Thank you, Vortigon. Very cool. That wasn't there before, was it? Such trolley does... Oh, I bet you, I bet you there's something up there. RPGs that no, I hate the combat in RPGs most of the time. If you asked, like, I don't know, me from the age of 10 to 18, I would have probably told you I RPGs are my favorite sick. genre. Abide a moment longer, that we may proceed together. Mm-hmm. Should I just whip it out? What are we doing? The Citadel. Of ride, you want to see the Citadel? That's what I call it. Alright, let's go. You have done the hardest work, omitting entrance to this chamber. Truly, the life of Alex Vance is an able hand. Yeah, I get it. Let's go! Also, inventory management is rising sleep. But yeah, anything with, with, with inventory management is pretty bad. Although, in some games, it really works. In survival games, I think it works. But even then, like, it has to be done well. Like, I think if, if, you, if you're going to have a game that um, is going to have inventory management and you're going to be filling stuff with chests, and you don't have a button that Terraria has and Stardew Valley has now that you can auto-fill stacks in your chests, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can duck under it. I like being touched with Tarkov. Well, Tarkov is a different kind of experience. I haven't played it very much, but Tarkov is a very hardcore simulator kind of thing. So in, in that respect, it really makes sense. But in a game like Fallout and Skyrim, it doesn't. I haven't played much Tarkov though, so I can't really talk about it much about it. Ah, excellent. 
bounty of libel extract. This should only take a what if I was just watching highlights video of your Terraria playthrough? There's highlights of Terraria playthrough? And pause where you said that regarding auto stack change. Yeah, that's the best feature Terraria did, man. Terraria is really, really good for that. Terraria is a really cool game, actually. I like to play it again. Let us return now to the Alright. Is this supposed to be a cool moment? Because. I mean, it's not bad, but. Sixty bucks. People in chat, we were talking about game prices, and we were like, remember, Joe, Joe paid sixty dollars for Terraria twice. Didn't, not on purpose. Not on purpose. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have spent sixty dollars twice on Terraria. Well done. You Sorry for not letting my kids down. To Mant -lion husbandry was once our ancestral practice. The creatures oh. exude many valuable compounds. The extract. Is the most prized by far. It dissolves the false veils that define the quintessence. All this you. It was literally on purpose because you bought the second time. No, because I can't buy it for one kid and not the other kid. What am I gonna do? Yeah, Finn gets Terraria, but you don't, Leo. Fuck you specifically. Like, of course not. And I thought they were gonna play it on multiplayer together, and then it didn't work because Terraria on Switch sucks. How do we? Behold. Can't you guys more? Don't you already know that you succeed? Yeah, yeah. yes, Marco Secretion. Yes, yes. Now, as we imbibe the extra. Yes. Yes. A human is needed. Brr, I join. Us, I'm going too. See, look, the gravity gun's on. Brr. You having fun over there? We weave the Freeman's life with hers. Yes, there is a quick Are we getting married? weird. Ugh. I mean, that's cool looking, but in a gross way. Dr. Freeman. <gasps> Uh-oh. I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart to heart, but I had to wait until your friends <laughs> were otherwise occupied. There was a time they cared nothing for Miss Vance, when their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor. When I plucked her from Black Mesa, I acted in the face of Objections that she was a mere child Wait, and what? no practical use to anyone. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when quelling them was out of the question. <laughs> Still, I am not one to squander my investments. And I remain confident she was worth far more than the initial appraisal. That's why I must now extract from you some small repayment owed for your own survival. Wait, what? See her safely to White Forest, Dr. Freeman. I wish I could do more than keep an eye on you. 
But I have agreed to abide by certain restrictions. Well, now, listen carefully, okay. my dear. This is getting weird. When you see your father, relay these words. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. How can we do that? They're unforeseen. Sisters. The mortal form has regained integrity. We have a very... G-Man is weird. No, G-Man is, is obviously weird. What I'm saying is getting weird is that how they're using G-Man is like a character thing. I don't know. This is strange. Oh, God. Oh. oh, my God. I thought... I thought for sure I was dead. The Combine Hunters caused traumatic injury. A hunter. So that's what it was. We knit a shattered bone and restored circulatory integrity. Okay, did you hear what G-Man said? Because I can't talk. It was a free man who retrieved her vortescence. Yeah, that's Gordon. How long have I been out? A matter of hours. Hours? Ugh. We've got to get moving. A moment longer. But we have to get to White Forest. It's vital. No fear. We will put you on the right road. Now, try carefully to rise. Whoa. Okay. No memory whatsoever of that G-Man interaction, by the way. I don't know what you did, but I have a feeling I'm lucky to be here. Oh, we're going back in the elevator. Okay. I will get you on the path to White Forest. Come on, Gordon. We will continue Next our hunt for advisors. Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. For beer girl. Okay, Freeman. Be adequate. Sounds like something the boards would say. Oh sh she's stars. Her mortal form has regained integrity. <laughs> Measurable loss. Oh god. Lies still. Oh. oh my god. I thought. I'm sorry. Thank you, Empire Metal, for the reset. Thank you very much. And thank you, Risk of J, also for it's a reset. Vital. No fear. We will put you on the right road. Now, try carefully to rise. Whoa. I don't rise know what you up, did. Mrs. Freeman. I have a feeling I'm lucky rise to be here. Rise up. Oh, look at the mark through her uh, jacket. That's a, that's a neat touch. Forest. Come on, Gordon. We will continue our hunt. Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. Good luck out there. Okay, Freeman. Be adequate. Be adequate. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Sounds Remember when when the healing juice also healed um, Ethan's coat in uh, Resident Evil 8? That that was. A you fucking kidding me? What? I don't know what you did, but I have a feeling I'm lucky to be here. Come on. <laughs> I will get you on the path. What? <laughs> Come on, Gordon. We will Next to me. You are hunting for advisors. Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. Good luck out there. Okay, Freeman. Be adequate. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Sounds like something the boards would say. Okay, quick 
save. All right, quick save. All right, here we go. I think I can walk on my own now. You guys go out first. Let me give it a shot. Yep. All right, go. <sighs> yeah. Stiff, but I think I'm okay. We did it. We did it. Whoa! That was a guardian. Somebody must have done something to piss it off. The guardian is enraged over our theft of the extract. If it tries to hinder our progress, we'll have no choice. You messed with its eggs? No wonder it's mad. Freeman Pontifex. Okay, I don't think we're gonna have to kill that thing. Oh. Still an incubation pods. They gather and unite the scattered combine forces. They move north with great purpose. North? White Forest! We have to get there ahead of them. I know of humans with a vehicle not far from here. Vehicle? They understand our urgent need. What are we waiting for? Calculated. Oh, this is not a break. I like these kind of forests in games. Well, I'm getting some Halo vibes from this area. Great War Ant Lions. I think Ant Lions are my least favorite enemy in the series if I don't have the gravity gun then I probably give the man hacks if we don't kill ant lions we'll spawn forever Tell me twice. Jody on sand. Yes, sand. Oh no! Oh! Alright, your gravity gun's better apparently. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is getting out of hand! You're afraid of the thumpers. You can't come near the thumpers. I 
Am I able to get enough momentum on the, the cars to damage them? Probably not, right? I mean, it's still a car. It wouldn't have to go be going that fast. So he's 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 one shotgun blast away from death right now. L literally one. All right. Can I get enough momentum on a car? Doesn't look like it. Kill for the gnome! gonna be the buggy again they really do suck you off huh? yeah they really it's distracting it almost it's almost like they're making fun of him Looks like the elevator sucks. Ragnarok had that Ragnarok had that problem too with treating Kratos like he's an idiot it was really weird
shot detected. Thanks, Gordon. The sentry should have spotted us by now. You think the Combine found them? Such a theory is hardly far-fetched. Is she like a hobby to you, a part-time job? Um, it's a part of my job. I wouldn't say it's, it, I, it qualifies for a part-time job. I wouldn't call it like full-time employment either. I do four streams a week, usually five to six hours a stream. Sometimes we go a little bit longer. Um, so that's not enough hours. However, there's more time that goes into it than that. You know, some of the pre-stream prep, some of the post-stream stuff. Um, some community management stuff, you know, so it's not exactly that clean. It's it's a part of my online job, let's put it that way. Oh, this is neat. Pin? The yes, elevator sometimes glitches in the way similar to the train from Highway 17. I think I see the oh, you can give something about. momentum here? It appears they attempted an escape, but made it no farther than the abyss. Well, if they got it over there, maybe we can jump it back to this side. We recommend the Freeman for this task. Hey, I'm feeling a lot better. That condition will not last long if you plunge into the toxins below. We would do well to lend our protection from above while free man skirts the hazards. The leave the gnome here. Can I leave the gnome here this and come back? Gun may prove useful. Okay. You think of Gordon as some super nerd self insert into a doom situation and tone gets better? I think. Does it? Because. Why would we be so capable of doing all this shit? Maybe that is it. Maybe I'm just taking it too seriously. Gordon? Guess it's all up to you. Nah, he's a spy. He's a spy for sure. Here, I'll get this field down. Okay. If we fall on a Good sloped surface, falling. we don't take fall damage. Careful now. Good luck, Gordon. Good luck, Gordon. Anyone else's stomach kind of twists sometimes when you fall in games? It just happened to be just there. Now. Doesn't happen all the time. I think there's Good a kill luck, wall Gordon. down there. Or kill floor. Careful now. Uh oh, I smell a physics puzzle. Oh, what the fuck? Game of Life episode one. Yeah, it, it can't update in the in the middle of it, can it? I thought you couldn't do that. I can try if you want. Some people are really particular about that sort of thing. They always want the game to match. Alright, I updated it. I don't know if it'll go through. 
Of course, yeah. well, it'll change live, but it won't change the VOD or anything, right? It's whatever it's set at the beginning of it is what the VOD will say it is. And I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit about the live experience. I give a shit about the VOD. Obviously, the VOD is there forever. The live experience is is fleeting. It's fleeting. Is chapter oh the the vod has chapters and it'll show when we use a different game okay I I sit corrected then hey we got the rifle charged up all right throw it right thread the needle thread the needle thread the needle We're way too high. We're way too high. This is why it's generally like, yeah, because I like having fun. I enjoy video games, unlike you posers. Posers and hosers. I enjoy video games so much I don't even have a favorite genre. I like all of them. Thank you, Barnacle. Very cool. Joe enjoys video games so much he even plays them himself. Oh, 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 owned. Oh, owned. How will chat ever recover? Here's a question then. What's the blandest game you ever played? Super Metroid. Um, I don't know. The blandest game? A game that was just kind of like meh? Recently, Dead Space. Dead Space, like, th there was nothing really wrong with Dead Space Remake. It was just kind of like, I don't give a shit. It's like, eh, whatever. Um, that's the recent one. Like, ever though? That's, that's gonna be hard to think of. A really bland, boring game. Recently, Owlboy? Owlboy was alright. I liked Owlboy. Life is Strange 2. Yeah, Life is Strange 2 might be up there. Life is Strange 2 was really, really bad. Half Life Episode 1. That was okay. Guys are tanky. Holy smokes. What's the story of Half-Life 2 about? Um it doesn't it doesn't really matter actually. Like it's it's not really a story game. It's more of an atmosphere game, if anything. It's, it's very much like Dark Souls for how the story just isn't really present and doesn't matter. Shit. It's a trolley. It's it's half a trolley. It's trolley like. Can we get a grenade from here? 
chat really wants me to do it. What if we throw a grenade in there and then we hear a combine guy go, shit. Oh, almost. A little higher. All right, like like there, right right against the window. Okay, how 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 high does that go? Nowhere close. Jump and do it. No, I need to be closer. It's gonna be very hard. Okay, that hit it. Holding the button throws it further. There's no way. I think there's an invisible wall there. Yeah, there absolutely is. That sucks. There isn't my weep. We just saw it hit the the black and it bounced off. Way too high. No, it definitely hit it, and it bounced off of it. Where are we going? Oh, we have to turn it on for you to go. You, you just waiting with it, with it? Just, just waiting. As soon as you hear the gas, that's it. I'm going. That's good. What if I go on here and now we're a little higher? All right, that hit it for sure. Jump. Oh, that did not. Oh shit! What? Is there one on the right? There's like a little wall there? Yeah, all right, so there's a little wall right there. It's just not one there. Okay, we were both right. Uh-oh. 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 You can't admit to being wrong. What do you mean? I said we're both right. That means we're both wrong. Why did reloading this make them come back? 
Didn't I kill them? Oh, I fucking... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, I thought I saved it before I did it. Oh my fucking god, what? Actual dementia mode? I thought I saved it. It's not dementia. I just made a mistake. Why is being so mean to me? Holy crap. I'm out here every day in the streamer mines. Excavating plus twos. Breaking the joints on my index finger. Goldfish. It's not goldfish memory. It's like I probably hit the fucking F5 instead of F6 and I thought it went through. Crabs are like, they're like Dark Souls enemies. If they're crawling on the floor, then they, they're more dangerous. Phoenixerian subs every day. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Phoenixerian. Thank you. More more than enough subs forever, by the way, Phoenixerian. You've been more than generous. Merrick, did you just apply reply to yourself with Fido? Game was better with Charlie, I agree. Oh, saw blade, nice. No, it's oh, it's a threat. Oh, okay. I don't understand my own chat. All right. Look at the shadow of the uh, the razor blade. That's neat. I need a clear shot, Gordon. Of what? Alright, we can make a we can make a, a huge ramp with these things. Where are we going? Where'd my Sobley go? Well, it's back. You have the ability to swap any chat with your chat. What chat would you do? Nah, I'd stick with my chat. I like my chat. We bicker sometimes, but I like my chat. there okay I mean, I like you. I like the chat for a Twitch chat. You know, what I mean, like, like as as far as Twitch chats go, you know, you guys are all right. Like, outside of that, like, what the fuck?
I wonder if people carried a, a razor blade all the way through the game after Raven Home, because I think that's the only place you can get them in the base game, right? Because they're so powerful for killing for killing things. Is that the most powerful thing you can get with the uh, with the gravity gun? Probably, I think. For zombies, at least. Any favorite music style? Probably prog rock, but um. Like Tool, Porcupine Tree, that sort of area, but I don't listen to it much at the moment. I've been listening to that much at the moment. What have you listened? What have you listened to most lately? Uh, I've been listening to a song by Pendulum called the called the Tempest or just Tempest. I can't remember. I've been listening to that a little bit. I don't love it, but I like it enough. Uh, Never heard of it. Propane Nightmares is my favorite song by them. Witchcraft is pretty good too. Listen to Chowderman a little bit, unironically. Uh, let's see. Going through my playlist. I really like that funny feeling by Bo Burnham. I've listened to that a little bit too. A little bit of Florence in the Machine. Yeah, not too much. How important are the lyrics to a song to you? Um, fairly important, yeah. I like to sing along when I listen to songs. If I'm alone. I'm not much of a chat that I can sing along from other people. I love singing. It's one of my favorite things to do. If I lived alone in an insulated house, I would just I would just sing all day. I love singing. Karaoke? No, no, you don't. You don't understand. I don't. I don't like singing for other people. I like singing for me. I like singing along. I know I can't sing. So I don't want to. I don't want to inflict on other people, and I don't want to have to like think that I have to perform for other people. I just want to sing for, for me. Request All Star. That's a good song. Lost our razor blade. Oh, that blended into the floor there. I barely saw that. Singing it, you didn't like Wander Song. Curious, kidding. Ooh, the call out, the call out. Wander Song was too too highly technical and sing for me. A lot, a lot of notes and everything. I don't want to do that. I just want to sing words. All right, where are we going? So so far, like I'm I'm having a good time with episode two chat, but like this is nowhere near the quality of the best parts of Half Life. Two base game to me is is the is the really really good part coming up or or what? Oh shit! Nightwish. Uh, Nightwish is all right. Like I don't I don't love Nightwish, but they're all right. Grenades? Why? That's weird. 
Places we could try to boost with those. I don't know, just so far it feels like a lot of rehashing the ideas from the base game with not a lot of new being brought to the table. It's like, like even this is like, okay, you know what? It's it's fine to do it again, but it's like I've I did this already. I wonder if that's why there's not half life three. I wonder if they can't they can't think of anything else to do. Did I lose the no? No, he's uh he's back with uh with Alex. Oh man. Oh, nice jump there he says and then fucks it up. This is as much they wanted 3 to be as much as a deal technically as, as the first two were. I don't think you can do that except for VR, which they already did, and they didn't put a number on it. To me, Alex is really Half-Life 3, and I'm okay with people disagreeing with that and thinking, no, I don't think so. It's like, it's okay. Like, at the end of the day, if they wanted to be called Half-Life 3, they would have called it Half-Life 3. But in terms of the technical leap, that is, that, that's probably as close as we're ever going to get. Unless they do another VR game like that's called Half-Life 3. That's an even bigger jump than, than Alex. But I don't think we're ever going to get another technical leap like that. So I think they just need to add just more mechanics and more things to do and, and better gameplay. To the, to the bases they have here and, and do whatever they can. I don't know. Is there anything over there, chat? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope. Is it even possible with some crazy technology? They're gonna have to like, Half-Life 3, 3 will be the first brain ship exclusive. down here. Holy crap. It was so cold down here last night. I'm in the basement if you're a new or a viewer. Alright, where are we going? Aw, oh, come on. I miss her so much chat. You're in my basement. I'm in your basement. Yeah. Whoa, what the hell is this? Okay, now can we get out? What the hell happened there? That's weird. I wasn't supposed to. Oh, we can go up here. Let's go. Oh, what, did we explore that? I don't think we can get into that house. Oh, we can. There's a ladder. Ladder blindness strikes again. It's very similar to uh, UI blindness because uh, they're both spelled the same in the UI. Yeah, I can see the car. 
Oh no! Whose car is this? I made this? We're gonna need a ramp. Yeah! It ends here. The Freemans failed to preserve resources to critical victory and escape glimpses of Doom Cloud before Tessence. Oh, so we're working for the Vortigons now. Alright. That's interesting. Alright, so I, I drop down there and it's just immediately over. Alright, cool. Okay, so I need to build a ramp. Is that what I have to do? Let me up. Let's build a ramp. Sheets to build my ramp. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Come on. Go. It's coming. No! Oh, it's even worse now. It's even worse. shuffle the cars with these seesaw things. So did I, and I was really surprised when it didn't give me a fail state when I knocked them all off. Oh well. <laughs> Can you find a way to open this door? Oh, it's only six minutes on it. No, the gnome! No! Why, Weebs? Why did you trick me? I thought we all wanted it. I thought we all wanted it, man. What the hell? We told you. No, you all told me that the gnome would be fine. Can't believe the rumble. We'll keep on the lookout. This road will take you near White Forest, but be wary that others may use this road. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Our bonds are of nature.
here. There's an invisible wall here. Right about there. Okay, a little bit higher. On the, on the top of the E. All right, top of the E hits it. All right, what about a little bit lower? Okay, that also hits it. I want to get it right behind it, a little bit below the E. Okay, a little bit below the E again, like mid. Even lower. Okay, even lower. On the ledge. No, it has to be higher than that. High, below the E, a little bit higher. A little bit higher, below the E. Midway. Okay, that gets it. Alright, so... I want it to hit the wall behind it very, very precisely. A little higher. Okay, where'd it go? Okay, so right below there. All right, so where does it go? Oh, it gets knocked back there. I need to hit it behind it. <gasps> All right. All right. All right, that's better, that's better. Let's quick load, do a hard save here. Let's load the other one back. All right, now we wanna go right below that, let's see. No, even higher, even higher. All right, up above it, way above it. Can we even get there? Yeah! <laughs> All right, here we go. Way above it. All right, way above it. Oh, shit, wrong button. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, fuck, I, I quick saved. I quick loaded the other one. I thought I quick loaded here. All right, quick save here. All right. Okay, so right above it, right here. Right here, right? <laughs> ah, fuck you, chat. Fuck you. All right, here we go. Let's go, gnome. All right, where are we going? All right, the, the gnome doesn't stay in the car. What are we supposed to do? Is there like a, is there a trunk for the gnome? Yeah, this is a problem. What? All right, 
Behind you. All right, you're lodged in there pretty well, actually. All right, that's good. Fuck. Should have known it wouldn't be as easy as just driving down the road. Looks like we'll have to take a detour. Can you hold the gnome? Can we lodge the gnome in? Lodge, lodge the gnome in, like, real, real tight. Real tight. Alright, this, this blows. The trolley was easier. Where are we going? If you jam it in the back window, it stays there unless you get a bounce. Jam it in the back window. Like like right right up right up in that. Alright, let me let me let me let me jam it back there. Like like right. It's not Why am I trusting chat? From the outside. Okay, we just knock it in. We just, we just, we just knock it. Oh, oh, oh! All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, it's stuck. We're good. It can't move now. All right, we're good. Gnome stuck? If it's working, we need to send a warning to White Forest. They've got no idea the Combine's heading their way. Oh shit! I'll watch the car. Gnome, bro? Uh-oh. Oh, he's there. Okay. Oh, holy shit. What's going on over there? Rachel Amber, go outside again. They must have a transmitter in one of these buildings. Okay, surely, surely, surely we can leave the gnome with the car.
We're almost done, by the way. Like another hour, another two. We're almost done, or we, or we like got our third left still. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, shit, I didn't see it. Where's the gnome? It's on the roof. Okay, let's fight it. Here it comes. Oh, it's, it's the hunt showdown. Hold on, so so these things are just regular enemies that stabbed Alex earlier? I thought it was gonna be like a boss. Or is there a bigger one? That was that was the big one. Shit, that sucked. It's on the roof. Thank you. Explosives. As are most things. Whoa! Where the fuck did you come from, my dude?
Nice. That. Oh, fuck. How does that work? That seems kind of awkward to me. Maybe if you like have something you can throw it at them? Which you consider more important for a shooter? Highly varied weapon selection or highly varied enemy selection? Uh, they're both the same. Two sides of the same coin. Like if you if you don't have, you can make a good game with just one, but you really want both. I sure hope it was a transmitter. But you're basically kind of hitting on okay. the um, the difference between like a like a, a game like Dark Souls and a game like Devil May Cry in that. Devil May Cry has way, 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 way more options on the player side, but enemy variety is kind of like, you know, it's not bad, but it's like, eh. Whereas Dark Souls has like very, very few options on the player side, but um, like the enemy variety and counter variety is very, very high with all the different kind of situations it puts you in. There's always something new that you're, that you're trying to do to go through it. White Forest, come in. White Forest, do you read? That's not to say that the options on Dark Souls are, are, are severely limited or that the Devil May Cry encounter variety is very low. It's just that I, I would show a difference between the two of them with that. This is White Forest. Identify yourself. This is Alex. Alex. Alex Vance? Where are you? I expected you hours ago. Who are you, dude? Well, we had a bit of a setback. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Yeah, I have a gun. Yep. The survival of Earth depends on the data you carry. Yes, I know. But the Combine, they're heading your way. What? What's that? What? He's faking it. What? He's faking it. Crap. I wonder if he got any of that. Let's get back on the road. Here, can you, let me open the gate. Can you hear me now? Well, we stopped here for no reason. That's great. Oh, we have to open the gate. Okay. Imagine if Laszlo was still alive, you could be briefed by the finest mind of his generation. So, so that's true, yeah, he was the finest mind of his generation. That's true. Let's keep going. Can you see if we can pick Please up hold the gnome. That's gotta be good enough. Is it a new chant? No, it's actually a, a, a achievement built into the game, which means it's kind of really boring compared to doing something you're not supposed to do, like we did with Charlie Chan. My, um, what I was going to do is when we got to the gnome, I knew people were going to ask me to do it. I was going to pick it up and say, fuck that. It's the game wants me to do it and smash it. And then I tried to do that. Um, and, uh, it's unbreakable. So yeah, now we're, now we're doing the gnome. I did something with the cool, the gnome about half an hour ago though. So it was pretty fun. Someone says something about like the Gears of War comment got them thinking about uh, asking a question. Um, does Gears of War have high uh, weapon variety? I kind of feel like it doesn't. Does it? Uh oh. Did 
the gnome stop a train? Of course, of course it didn't. Of course. All right, there we go. That's probably pretty good. Probably pretty good. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do, do, do. Thank you, Risk of J, for the resub. Thank you, Rickyon, for the resub. Thank you, Nick Bottom, for the resub as well. Thank you, Lowflyin14. Tricky to say. Thank you, Double Zero 3D, for the bits. Lumer Lumarsen for the new sub, and Barry Relativity for the resub. Thank you very much. Just drop the gnome. No, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Chat tried to bait me out of getting rid of the gnome already. You have to do better than that. Pull one over on hey, old Joe Andy. You can see it from White Forest. Not his name. <laughs> We're heading the right way. Is the gnome the new trolley? Kind of, but the gnome is like, like the game wants you to do it. There's a, like an official achievement for it. All right, that looks interesting. Let's get out and look at that. One of those advisor pods. Back in the Citadel, those things we saw. Huh. I feel like they're doing their damnedest to reveal more of the story here. Like, I feel like we've learned more about what's going on in this world in, in episode two than we have at any point. Now, episode one had some shit too. So in the episodes, we're learning more about what's going on. And then they stop making them. Thank you, Big Bill69420. Nice for the resub as well. More hunters. Uh oh. Uh, what? What was that? There it is again. There's an advisor around here someplace. And it, and it, and it does that? It's like we weren't the first to find this place. Okay, I'm intrigued. Where's this going? Advisor? Where is he? Oh. The board said we should kill them before they hatch. Wait, how did it get here? How did it get strung up like this? Ah, life support. What do you say, Gordon? Shall we pull the plug? Sorry about this. I need advice. Hmm. Maybe I can get this open. There we go. Over to you, Gordon. A giant kidney bean. Gordon Freeman. This will be the tastiest meal. Uh. What was the plan, Alex? Yeah, thank God. That thing was hurt. Did you see it? I can only imagine what it would have done. Uh oh. 
Oh, the sound effects were bugged there? Man, that's the, why it was so weird. Where's my gnome? Ah! Uh, now there's a hunter as well. Oh shit! Thought we were you done. Turns out we were yet continuing. Yakuz. Oh no! There's a helicopter! Quickly, gnome! To the gnome mobile! For gnome, we're gone! Yeah, where, where, where is that? Where are we going? Straight? We're going this way? Are you fucking serious, Gabe? Gabe, are you fucking serious? Is the gnome still here? Lost it immediately, did I? I'm gonna die immediately right now. I don't see it. Alright, it's here. It's here. It's still here. It's still here. It's still here. It's not here. Oh, he's hitting the gnome! You know what? You know what? Fuck the gnome. Fuck the gnome. It's awkward as fuck. Really? There's no way that should work.
Supplies. Oh crap! We may have to ditch the car. This way. No way. We can we can totally get the car over there. Oh, the car's the car's busted. They learn from Half Life Two. Again. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Calculated. All right, save it. I love the sounds in these games. How did we dodge it last time? Oh, for fuck's sake. How did I dodge it last time? I just went to the left last time and he, and he didn't shoot me. You didn't dodge it and miss? Alright, I just had to stand here until I get a good cycle. Alright, next time for sure. Next time for sure. Jump! Yeah! Alright. Ha ha ha! Fuck you, helicopter! Still here? Oh shit! Oh, almost. You think after a certain point he would learn not to poop him out, huh? I would have loved that. That was pretty fun. I like this section with the car. <laughs> Boy, are we glad to see you guys. I'm glad to see you. Didn't know you were free, man. That was amazing. <laughs> the way you threw their minds right back at them. I know. Yep. Well, Tell me more. I can sure use a drink. Yep. Suck it. Who's yep. With me? Here we go. We need to get back on the road, but our engine's shot to hell. I don't suppose you got any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> Got a whole shop over here. Come on, we'll get you set up. All right, time for the four-hour conversation while we fix the car. 
Sweet, 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 sweet. I give the combine a lot of credit, though. They're top competitors, a real class act. Who asked? Under the radar. Under the table. Zombie in here? Anyone else hearing that? No? Just me? Okay. You weren't kidding. We don't go to David home. We got a new engine, here we go. Maybe while I'm getting the car fixed up, you can see about clearing up that roadblock. All the fresh zombies coming out of City 17 have kept them pinned down. It's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, we'll let you out there. Huh. He's always up for it. Right, Gordon? We got a trap door up here where I can let you over to the other side. That way you'll get to see the gun before it sees you. Good luck taking out that auto gun. Whoa. Breeze box. Don't dead open inside. Okay. I love the Forbeerger pose that they do when they hold up the grenade. It's really, really cute. This really is just Raven home again. Is this water poison? Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Gnome was gone. Yeah, Gnome's gone because this is my first time playing this. For sure now. I have, I didn't even know there was a car, so I've definitely never done this. Um And it's it's like ruining my playthrough. Like like if, if it had a place in the car and it would sit nicely, then okay, great. But like no, it's fucking ruining everything. How are you supposed to get the fucking gnome through that section with the car? No wonder everyone was down for my trolley bullshit. I walk, Chad. I roll. No, I'm not trying to say how like it's impossible. Like clearly people do it. It's and it's it's probably can't be that difficult compared to what we do with the trolley. Just is it was I'm just trying to say like is there an easier way that I didn't know about? Because that seems really like stupid for an achievement. Like really fucking awkward. Alright, save it after the uh, fire goes away. There we go. We abandoned the gnome, yes. Oh, wow, we can't... Okay, this is the... Okay, we can't... Where were these in Half-Life 2? I, I thought we could maybe hack our way through with, like, sprint. If I block my vision, it can't see me, though. If I block its vision, it can't see me, though, right? Oh, it can. All right, so it's based on movement, I guess. Damn, Charlie Chan would have loved this. I like 
the gimmick sections in these games. They might be my favorite, actually. I guess when it gives you a clear objective of what you have to do and it's something unusual instead of it being like, um, like bonus points if it's based on the physics, instead of just being like, you know, just kill some shit. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Looks like those guys are pretty tired. Oh, plus two chatter. Plus two. Oh, a little health to mark the way through the car. Nice. Although that can backfire sometimes, because people might think, oh, health, that's just an optional pickup thing. I don't need to go there. make games like this? Most first person, first person games that play are just all about the combat. Yeah. RE4 is really the king set these games. Is it? I barely remember Resident Evil 4. I did play it um, on when it came out for GameCube. I didn't play No, did I play on PlayStation? I played on PlayStation. It came out on GameCube first, didn't it? Whichever one it came out on second is what I played it on. And I remember those being mostly based on, uh, on combat or just like some puzzle stuff. Instead of like careful movement around an area. I thought it was Barney. Wow, we were really that close? Holy shit. Okay, so it's saying go up and then go right. Okay. Ooh, grenades. Why? Alright, we drop down under the under the gun, under the radar of the gun. And then Alright, we're back. There's an invisible wall. Alright, under under this side. Okay. Bounce a grenade down. Nope, they're invincible. Why would they set up the auto turret here specifically? It's kinda weird. You know what? Let's turn it back on. Off, here's it firing. You know what's turning the back. I didn't hear it firing. I heard someone coming out from the outside. I thought it was zombies coming in. 
And I thought I'd turn it back on again. Apologies for not being intimately fucking, like, like, familiar with the game I've not played before. That's, remember, I only have one headphone on, so maybe it was to my right. I only heard zombies shuffling outside. Go through this. Okay. He's waiting for us. In his fucked up water suit. Tell me why we load. Come on, Gordon, get in. What's this? A gift? Can I heal? Is there healing? Nope. All right, two HP run. Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. What is it? Special this week only. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're gonna want to stop and investigate. I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. Did they help me fix the car? They threw in a bonus. Special this week only. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're gonna want to stop and investigate. Is that a carburetor? I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. Do I have to like drag it all out with the gravity gun? Or is it because I have full full ammo? Okay, never mind. Health. That's plenty. That's more than one. I'll keep watch out here if you were looking for the cast. There's an achievement I got. Oh, so this is when like Valve got achievement pilled or something? Like what's going on? Alright. Alright, I know what to do. I know what to do. I've played Zelda.
How do I get down there? Oh, it opened. That's good. Alright, we're pretty healthy. <laughs> Rocket launcher. That'll come in handy. <sighs> That's, that's the way. So let's go and get the other whatever's in here. Actually, maybe that isn't the way. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the way. Let's go down here and see. Nope, that, that's, that's, that's the way. That's the way. Alright, let's go the other way. Come on. Ooh, what's up there? Hey, something on the radar. Alex makes the experience so much worse. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Like, as a character, she's not bad. It's just in the context of playing a Half-Life game as Gordon Freeman, I don't know. Like, I'd rather be alone with Gordon. I love him so much. He's so dreamy. Why do I have to share with Alex? She's gross. How is the driving compared to Half-Life? It feels exactly the same to me. Like, I don't know. Turning is maybe a little harder, if anything. I don't know. Just it feels like it feels like the exact same car to me. But you know, it, maybe it has some subtle differences. Oh, it's a saw blade. Oh, neat. Yeah, I would have found it without the beacon. Don't worry. Oh, it's so much shit. Alright, I wouldn't have found all this shit. Oh, it was a trap! They set, a, they set it up with the beacon! Oh, did a big guy spawn with a grenade? Oh, okay. Oh, it is a zombie stuff. It was a decoy beacon, exactly. Oh man, the jukes! To hit these with a crowbar. Yep, that makes sense. Oh. So, guy came in with a grenade, blew it up, and it blew those up, and then we got killed in a double explosion. I don't even need this shit. I'm still breaking it open. Alright, this was a waste of time, Alex. Let's go. My curfew approaches. Because it's a game and we need to have some uh, some obstacles. White forest stand. Alright. Yeah, you know, criticize my driving. Come on, say something bad about the Freeman. I dare you. I dare you. Come on. I dare you. 
It's not allowed, is it? It's part of the deal with G-Men and now the Vortigans with the Vortessence. Yeah, not allowed to do it. Can we blow up the gas station? This could be combine handiwork. Oh no, this part is super fucking annoying. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I miss something back there? Are they hitting me or the game? Because if they're hitting the game, I'll listen to them. from range normally I went up to them and I hit them with the with the um with the, sh with the shotgun Missile launcher. Shit. Oh, there's another one. Or is it the same one? You motherfucking weep. Okay, do the guards spawn forever? Because trying to shoot the, the hunter with the guards out there is really annoying. I have a feeling that probably the guards spawn forever until the hunters are killed. That's what my gamer senses are telling me.
to health. Oh, the helicopter dropped on the, the side, uh, on the roof or something? Oh, you came up here. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry, Lex. Hunter smashes through window. be moms. Man, half a two copy Metal Gear Solid. It's lame. Shots. That must be the one I hit with the crossbow earlier, so I guess you need to take damage in the crossbow. This place is a death trap. Let's get out of here. How? This force field's still on. Oh man. You get hit by that those those fucking wreck you. Having the enemy type though, they're pretty good. All right, any more? I think there's one left. Here, let's save. Alex, oh, so is this on him? Send more. That was fun. Okay, this is where we came from, right? We went around, we went around. Okay, are we actually just leaving the car? Really? There's no way we're leaving the car. Oh 
how many shotgun shells? Did Did the spread on the alt fire like fucking like miss a bunch there? Holy shit. Let's go see if we can get the car. Probably in here we turn off. Ooh, healing. Oh, we have to go up there to turn it off. That's where the cable's going. I guess we do have to go up there. I thought it would be in there, but no. Why don't we just sever the cable? What's the cable made out of? Any good games you've been playing off stream? No, not really. The only game I've been having on off stream has been uh, Factorio Space, Ex Space Exploration. That's about it. I haven't been doing much gaming at all. So we just should have just kept pushing up here when I came up here. All right. Well, that sucks. Sorry for the waste of time. Uh oh. What about into the dungeon? Nope. No playing. Not playing into the dungeon right now. I play Stardew Valley. Not only did I play it, I made There's a video on it. Power source for the shields. Huh. And I, I streamed it. On security either. At some point. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. Okay, it looks like I can open them from here, but I won't be able to come in with you. Here goes. <sighs> Sorry, Gordon. This thing's fried. Since I can't help you in there, why don't I stand watch outside while you disable the power cell? Okay, what's... Not enough surprises for one okay, day. Okay, what, what's, what's gonna happen right now? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, go through a vent, throw a grenade, can't open the door. Oh, there's a ladder. Fuck your puzzle. Oh, nothing happened while you were in there. Okay.
Okay, are we almost close to the end now? Like, last act soon? Last level soon? Because if not, maybe we're gonna have to stop after all. No? Really? You gonna try the Diablo 4, 4 beta? I'm, I'm thinking about ordering KFC just to get a just to get a, a early access. Because I love capitalism. Kentucky Fried Capitalism. Here I go. Okay, I don't know where we're going. Alright, this worked out. Alright, let's just keep going. Where is the gnome? It's gone. We got rid of it. Why is my square even keep oh, shh. Sorry, I was looking down on my chair because it's squeakier than usual. Alright. The radar's going off, Gordon. <laughs> What, 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 do, what do you want me to do then? Do you want me to do you want me to hit the rope? No. Okay. What, 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 do, what, 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 what do you want me to do? No. Hey, something on the radar. Throw the rock at it. Oh, we have to swing it. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna break it. I didn't realize we were gonna, we're gonna swing it. All right, that makes sense. I thought the grenade. I thought the grenade would work. This whole bit with the car has been my favorite section so far. I, I, I'm enjoying this. It feels more like a slice of, uh, of the good parts of Half-Life 2, whereas Half -Life, Episode 1 was like, it was like nothing wrong with Episode 1. It's just kind of like, yeah, whatever. That doesn't sound good. You mind if I wait in the car? I didn't have a trolling chant for all of this, it would have been so good. Whoa. Balls! Kick him in the balls! Yeah! Watch us! Watch us! Is that a human brain in there? Thanks. Okay, let's go. 
Is Beer okay? <laughs> Throw the car. Uh oh, Merrick, you're making me nervous. Way to go, boy. Okay, dog. Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on what? it, Gordon. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Step on it. We're stuck. Step on it, Gordon. Shit. Way to go, boy. All right, let's build up some speed. Okay, dog. All right, dog. Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. Fuck you, dog. Yes, yeah, slow poke. Let us in. Yo, let him through. Thanks. We had a feeling you were close when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, white forest. We made it. Safe at last. He's gonna leave the car out? Okay. About those beers you owe me. You smell that? It's freedom. <laughs> you never know. Oh shit! Oh no! Okay, all right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll come back up one second. One second. That view over there, it's quite the trip. Let's go. Our mutual fiend. Alex, Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey. Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. Do you mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see dad. I'll catch up to you later. Good place to stop. What do you mean, good place to stop? Aren't we done? Like, this is the end, is it not? Like, one more, like, level after this and we're done? He's in silo one access unit. Right through here. Shall we? Oh, are we smelling Freeman? No, it's not. It's a real alarm. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. What? Still? Man, you made 
Greens, Eli. Dad. Alex. I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah. We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good because, well, now that the suppression feels down. Excuse me? We all have to do our. Excuse me? What the fuck, Pardon? dude? Dad? Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's. What happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Show me what that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to He's him twice straight. Is he though? How old is Gordon? Gordon's been like in suspension, like in time suspension, right? Like how old how old is Gordon? Like from date of birth to now, probably, absolutely, but in terms of like years lived and how old like Gordon is actually. He's probably the he's the exact same age that he was in Half Life One, right? Okay. Yes, yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you think they were still competing for grant money? <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go pee, and then we'll we'll finish the game today because i don't want to stream this again tomorrow just for a little bit so i'll be right back if you don't want to watch the end because you're bored of it or whatever you can watch the vod later if you really want to or you know you can it, it's fine i just want to i, I want to get the game done so i'll be, be right back This way, Gordon. This way, Gordon. You coming? Come on, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. You coming? This way, Gordon. This way, Gordon. This way, Gordon. This way, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. You coming? You coming? Come on, Gordon.
This way, Gordon. This way, Gordon. All right, I'm back, chat. I had to turn the heater on, sorry. Like, I didn't realize how cold it was until I was, like, partway up the stairs. My, my legs are so damn cold. So damn cold. Oh, man. Thank you, Murmurs M, for the resub. That was right before break, thank you very much. I also got a second blanket I put around my, put around my legs. Anyone else have this thing? I'm gonna say a forbidden word, sorry. Um, anyone else have this thing that if their feet or legs are, are cold and they go to pee, that as they're peeing, their feet get warm? Anyone else have that sensation sometimes? Nah, just me. Well, you peeing your feet? No. And what about the combine? Someone said, yeah. Your feet don't get cold. Maybe if maybe if you, your feet have never been cold enough for that to happen. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. Who the fuck are you, dude? What a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the AGV suit to take an Look excellent care of All right, there you go. Gnome's in. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data. Yeah, sorry. Finer, are you going to sync up the suit battle? stays on. Or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, right. All right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. Grant me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. I just put it in the gnome that, that Gordon was carrying. So where's that gnome, Gordon? Oh, shit! My word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process. And then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. Are we going That's back it. in the elevator, yes, really? Yes. Of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next? A parade of constant interruption. Hello? Hello? Oh. Anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> Folks, alarm all day. Damn crows and mess me the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. I haven't stopped moving for like four days. Can I have like a rest or a coffee or something? This didn't this guy didn't get the Freeman memo, man. Attention personnel. This is Dr. Magnuson. Oh shit, there's so many people down here. Forward to his 
remedy. Yep. I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank this is a nice guy. For your patience. No, I like this guy. This is a nice guy. Waiting for you, Freeman, in the secondary silo. Alright. Feathered fiends? What are you guys talking about? Silo 2. Right. His voice sounds familiar. Silo 2, empty. Is it though? Is it empty? Yeah, what's going on? Wouldn't let me crash through the door. Minus 2. Oh dear. This is a breach. A breach! Attention, attention personnel, this is Dr. Magnuson. We are experiencing a breach of internal base defenses. Please bear with us while we pinpoint the location of the breach. Rather be captured or, or crushed on a door like that. Who's who's capturing me? Are they taking me to a facility where they're gonna crush me in a door but slower? If so, I would like to get crushed by the door quickly right now. Like, what, what are they doing to me? And I just want to hold it for a second because my hands are cold. Oh man. The death might be less bad. Yeah, I'll take my chances then. Anything can happen. If you're about to be executed, just ask for a glass of water first. Who knows what can happen before the executioner brings it to you? Name that quote, chat. Who said that? That was Daddy Vesemir from the hit from the hit game Witcher. Although, I don't know if he actually says it in one of the games. Shit, I don't know if he actually says it in one of the games or if it's uh, part of the supplemental material. It might be part of a compendium that I read, because of course I read that too. Just like in a shirt and jeans, just like along for the ride.
Why, should we make a video about the top? I have, I, I have two videos on the Witcher. They're, they're pretty good. I'm not sure if they're my best work, but the Witcher one is up there for sure. All right, what are we doing? I feel like we have to get up there and do that. Oh, we go up here. It's, it's fine, don't worry. Maybe a super question, but do you feel making the video soured you on the Witcher series a bit? No, absolutely not. Uh, if anything, I think that making the video on Witcher 1 uh, made me appreciate it even more. And it made me appreciate the exper experimental nature of Witcher 2 um, quite a bit. Um, I, d I know a lot of people don't believe me, or they either don't believe me, or uh, the same believe me is, is wrong. I think people don't under some people don't understand that um, how well you can actually separate yourself from the work when it is a job like some people might look at it and go like damn you play a game so much for, for a video and you must you must get sick of it and it's like oh my god that ruins the enjoyment and yeah of course on, on some level like when I'm playing the game for the third fourth fifth time or whatever depending on what the project is yeah it, it, I'm not really enjoying the game anymore but because I know I'm doing it with a with a job in mind like it's completely separate to me it doesn't really factor into it anymore and if I play the game like later on, years later, it's it's like playing the game again and again for fun. Like it's it's something I think most people can do, but it might be like unexpected. To do it. Fuck! Did the did the it hit a bullet or? This time for sure. This time for sure. Yeah, it was this time for sure. Oh, there's a grenade. How much longer we got until the end? We'll, we'll, we'll play until we finish it, or you know. I get so cold I have to leave the basement. Why could I get through last time? Oh, you know why? Because I, I probably just didn't didn't kill this dude. 
Oh, the book saved here. back around and I was rushing forward and making more enemies spawn. Will you start Black Mesa tomorrow or will be one off game? It'll be one off game tomorrow. They take more damage in the back, I think. I was thinking that earlier when I was hitting them with the shotgun. They must take more damage in the back. Is Black Mesa still happening? No, it's definitely happening. We'll do that next week. I'm really excited to play Black Mesa. I'm curious to see what, what changes they make, especially fresh off playing the um, whole series right now. Okay. Is there a Black Mesa Defense Force, or no? No stream tomorrow? Um, there probably will be a stream tomorrow, yeah. I think we'll stream a one-off game. I don't know, we'll see. Almost certainly there will be a stream tomorrow. Let's see how things go. I would rather stream tomorrow and Saturday to finish a, a one-off game before Black Mesa than to not stream at all tomorrow. We can play Yakuza Kiwami in two days, right? This is like a silo in uh, half a point. Oh shit! Jeff, 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 Jeff. Oh, there was another one. God damn it. High five rush from my, my beloved. Um, how long is high five rush? That's probably more than a That's probably a week of strains. Oh, we keep going down. Why is hard mode so tanky, man?
there's no possible way that you know how would closing the silo doors like make this all stop they're right outside oh, my God. oh it's him How's it going? Get in till you sealed off the silo and the blast doors opened up. Incredibly true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Yeah, dad? your dad. Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Freeman must follow. Okay. <gasps> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. From here. I can return to my place okay. of I know, I know, I know there's no chance. I know there's no chance, but what if? What if through some weird, weird glitch or whatever, it's the same trolley. Nope. Nope. I'm fairly sure I pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work discovered by the combine we'll need to take a close look at it of course but i should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours if the site is where we think it is then it should be no more than i'm gonna cut this short we may have been spotted why didn't you answer just answer Never have go. taking less time to answer wait a moment there's something else here uh oh what is it is the g-man it's the Borealis. All right, what the fuck Good is that? God. Oh my God! Oh whoa! What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. I built her. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. You heard that their research vessel had simply disappeared. Vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Did you like me to talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite a genius of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, mm -hmm. I think she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after her. 
Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along. I like Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. I thought he was going to be like a, a betrayer, but he's not. So I like him. For unforeseen consequences. <gasps> what did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. That was awkward. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, just keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when you whispered them in my ear. Who? You know who I'm talking about. I don't know. Kleiner? Oh, Kleiner. Yeah. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have avoided that damn test. See? That's how you... That's how... That's how he knew. That's how he knew to hire us through G-Man. There we go. See? Oh, well, we went to hell that day. There we go. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reason. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance of... Uh, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing on it. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh. Oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting. Excuse me. Just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Sure, we will. Freeman, Striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable. Just sitting on a bomb. And the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not you do. my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Mm -hmm. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. Okay, I get it. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find. That's right. Toss it at the good. Now. Take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. 
There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Man, I really can't hear anything if it's a, to the right of court. Device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. What you were sitting on them? Every building in the valley has its oh, own God. dispenser port. So you'll have ample supply of explosives. Oh, why are they coming this way then? I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesiums. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Okay. And do they just keep spawning or do I have to onboard radar so the combine show up red on the Where's the gnome one? Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. If you use the microwave in number one, nothing can be a mystery. Everything has to be explained. All caps, multiple explanation marks. Okay, are you, are you, are you okay, dude? You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. We're waiting for you, Gordon, at the sawmill. All right, so these just spawn forever, do they? Okay, this is a very committed setup to what killing a shit ton of Striders, or? Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. I'm at the sawmill. How's it going, Weebs? So they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted oh, a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do. Attention! Uh oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the cranes. Defensive positions, go! Oh boy, here we go. Everyone ready? We need to stop them here. Remember, keep them distracted while Freeman takes them down. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Did he shoot off? Thank you. 
nine assists to kill the hunters. God, what the fuck? Alright, see, can I, can I... I didn't hit it. All right. So if there's a hunter, the hunter will peel it off and it won't work. All right. Almost like it puts a shield around them if the hunter's alive. I'm gonna reload an earlier save. I don't. I don't like. Uh, I don't like going out. Everyone ready? Stop them here. Remember, keep them distracted while Freeman takes them down. And this is gonna be bad. What the fuck? The fuck is this knockback? God damn it, the juke! Let him go upright all the way. No, it's not gonna work. So just, yeah, and I'm testing my fucking hypothesis. I wanna see if it works or not. Cause if I can get some like free hits on them, like early on, then that's great. If there's not, then okay, I can't do it. Okay, is it because of the hunters alive, or is it because there was a little bit of blue needles on them? Hmm. Nah, it's because the hunters alive. They're just so fucking fast at that. Like hunters are traveling with the striders. They're working in packs. 
I need to get a new... I need a, another bomb, and I also need some healing, please. Now we have a Strider coming in from the water tower! The water tower, eh? No, not that. Okay. Get another bomb. Strider coming from the crate. Health over here. Did I kill it? Oh shit. Yeah, it, you, you just can't do it. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. I thought because he was distracted maybe I could get a, ch a cheeky one off, but no. You just can't. Alright. And it's le- This is why we save scum. Streamer, we the royal we it, like you're along for the ride with me, so it's like yeah, you're a part, you're a part of it. Another Strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill. Oh, thanks for calling that out. Doesn't look like you can save the sawmill though. That that looked really fast. Maybe if you like prep it ahead of time, you can run over there and do it. Maybe I don't know. Try using the logs of the gravity gun. Are they really good?
easy. So log's pretty good, but random in the car is better. If I could consistently get the log to come back, I think the log would be better. Yeah, quick save spot. Yeah, I've been quick saving before every single shot. Yeah, that's part of the game. Also, I'm glad that I did because of the fucking uh, one that hit off the knee. Alright, what else? Are we done? This was really fun. I really like this uh, this section. I feel like ramming the the hunters was uh, oh shit, not that. From the water tower. was maybe a little awkward, but uh, still pretty fun. Oh, it's a fast one. He's a fast boy. Oh, he's very fast boy. Fuck you, dude! Oh, hunters! Oh, egg on your face! things just give me uh, some some wood and I'll just fire it at him
monsters here. What? Damn. You son of a bitch. Magnetic things are that makes it easier. Alright. Alright, where are we going? We're going over here. I think the one to the right is closest. Jeff was still help. Yes. I've already gone with the log. That'll be faster than running for another shot, I think. Yeah, I really like this. This is fun. Wish maybe you could hold maybe two on the back of the car though instead of one. Like going going every single time for another one to load up is a little eh. But then again, I let I let two buildings get blown up and that would have made it much better. So punishment for failure, I guess. Log. Log. Log, log, log. We did it, chat. We did it. That was really good. That was really fun. That might be the most fun, like, combat gameplay section of the whole entire series. Half-Life 1, 2, all the spin-offs, and Episode 1 and 2 combined. That was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. That was really fun. I really, really liked that. Dead dude? Yeah, what up? Good going. Yeah. Wow, Gordon. You were amazing out there. Thanks. Come on. Oh, 
sparks are flying, Alex. The launch is in its final stages. The portal's close to opening, but Dr. Magnus is sure will be in time to stop it. Support equipment powered down. Hold on a moment, Finder. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Me too. Wow. Let's go. Come on. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. What? It wasn't going that long. All packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half. Man, this this pacing is insane compared to Half-Life Episode One. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those Striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. Yeah. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. What? You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. It says rocket. You should launch it. Whatever. H. H is made out of three lines. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Really good. Look at that. Now, now it is still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold up oh, a second. There you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're going to miss it. Be right there, Alex. Miss what? Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now, when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Resonator. This is it. Oh my goodness. Yes. 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 Yes
So good. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Oh, this is a nice ending. Waiting for us in its swimsuit. Are you sure you have everything you need? I've got Gordon, so I'm good. I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh, Dad, Gordon, help! Ah! Oh no, it's that thing. Another one. Oh. oh my god. I love you, Tiger. Close your eyes, honey. I love you, Dad. Don't look. No. Oh my god. No. No. Gordon. That's afraid. <sighs> I feel bad for Eli. That's a brutal way to go. <laughs> That's the end. Oh my god, Valve. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> There's not even a little epilogue after that. So I, I knew that Eli died. I didn't know how or when or if that was like the actual last scene or whatever. I knew Eli died. That, I, Of course, how could you not know that? Um... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the team originally planned for the ending to feature a calm sequence of Lamar floating in space after the rocket was launched, but Gabe Newell requested them to, to add this in instead for a cliffhanger? Wow, what the hell, Gabe, Ben? Gay Ben. Do 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 Alright, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Definitely definitely picked up toward the end. Uh everything after the car I think was like 
on the on the same level as as the the great parts in Half Life Two. Everything before the car was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. This just feels like I'm just going through the motions in in the Half Life world. However, I did just play you know Half Life One, the, the expansions, Half Life Two, Episode One before that. So going through a lot is gonna it's, it's gonna start to feel a bit repetitive and samey. So. Yeah, please play Alex someday. I have played Alex, I just haven't finished it. I've only played it for... Like, I've played Alex all told for a couple hours, but in terms of the progress I've made in Alex, I, I think I've only made maybe half an hour to an hour of progress through the, through the game. Because it takes me so long to do everything, and I also have to take breaks, and I get sick a lot. And also, I was just distracted by what it's like to be um, to be in VR, you know? Do, 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 do you know how Alex ends? I do know how it ends, yep. Well, I know, again, I know some something that happens at the end of Alex. But I, I don't know how it happens. I don't know what it looks like to happen. But I do know what happens at the end. Do, do, do. Half of Alex on the street. No, I can't. I can't. Um, there's no space down here to do it. So sorry, I can't. Do you get sick even with teleport movement? No, but I don't want to play VR with teleport movement. I want to learn how to like move around normally. Because otherwise it's not very fun. Teleport movement seems kind of shit to me if the game's not built around it. You stream in a closet? I stream in a basement that has a low ceiling. You can absolutely do it. The game is built around teleport movement. It's not built around teleport movement, though, because Alex doesn't know how to teleport in real life. That's what I mean. Like, it, it, it breaks the realness of the world to me to have teleport movement. It doesn't make sense to my brain. So unless Alex has, like, a short-range teleport device, then okay, then I will do it. But th that's what I mean. It's like... I'm not, I'm not claiming that the game is non-functional teleporting. Of, of course it is. It's functional. Like, that was a part of the game. They included it. It's an option. But... Like I don't I don't like the teleport movement. I want to be able to just move normally. When you teleport you can see the little footprints on the ground so you can actually she just walks away Ah oh, that's that's neat. That's a neat little touch. Anyway, that's it for me everybody. Thank you for watching. We got through Half Life 2. I don't know what we're gonna be playing tomorrow. Um I'll make a decision and we'll see. I don't know what it's gonna be. Um is there any game on the list that is a one shot game that we could get done in one stream? Um, you know what? That's not fair. Because what if someone's been like like looking forward to watching that on the thing and then we did it ahead of time without announcement, like like said really early i don't know we'll see it's also a really long stream today so i might be tired tomorrow but i would rather i would rather stream today and tomorrow and do the uh and do a game than to not stream tomorrow but if i'm tired i'm tired we'll see pizza why do people keep saying pizza tower We don't really know how you do Necro Dancer. What do you mean? Half Rush is genuinely a two-stream game, but that's but I know it's kind of a meme to recommend it. Is it really? I thought it would be like three or four streams. How long is Atomic Heart? Twenty-five hours. Oh god. Excuse me. I'm not streaming Genshin. Are you insane? Play Signalis? Signalis is pretty short, yeah. How far is 11 hours long? Yeah, but with, like, stream opening and then, you know, me talking to chat on the way and also shit. Like, that's gonna, that's gonna be at least three streams for me, I think. Wouldn't be too bad, though. We could do that. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to bleed over into Black Mesa. I want to do Black Mesa next week. You're gonna stream Sekiro? No, I don't think so. Dude. 
Do 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 Hunt down the Freeman. What is hunt down the Freeman? Hunt down the Freeman. How long to beat? Six hours. What is hunt down the Freeman? Just another mission, or so you thought, until aliens from another dimension start invading Earth before scientists with a crowbar hospitalizes you after wiping out your entire squad. Just when you thought you were finished, a man with a briefcase offers you the chance for another beginning. Uh, what? Mostly positive. It's like the Postal 3 of Half-Life. Broken lighting, sumi, semi sup par story, overall seemingly an insult to the Half Life community. Just play Entropy Zero Two. It's like this, but so much better and free. What do you? What do you? What, hold on. Why is everyone like like mad about this? Isn't this just a joke game, or is it actually meant to be serious? Everyone's treating this like it's a serious game. Yahtzee hated the game with all his heart. What? It's a real. It's a. It's it's meant to be serious. It's meant to be serious. There's no... Valve supported it. Alright, fuck it. We'll do this tomorrow. Alright, see you later. See you tomorrow. We're gonna do Hunt Down the Freeman. See you later. Have a good rest of your night. Do 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 do